Alrighty, friends, welcome adventurers. It's another one of our Slant Alpha adventures where we're doing something a little different tonight, uh, although this is now the fourth time that we've done something different, so this is kind of like getting the same brand of different that you've seen three times before. <laughs> it is the uh, That Sim Air Traffic Control Training, and again, I'll give you the spiel just because it might be the first time some of you are seeing this, but uh, it's just, this is not something that is ordinarily uh, streamed from by Vatsim controllers. This is the training process as I am currently an S2 rated controller, which means I'm rated to to, uh, to, to control at the delivery, ground, and tower uh, levels, and I'm becoming, or learning to become, hopefully becoming, I mean, that remains to be seen, I guess, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> um, but as, aspiring to become a radar controller, meaning controlling approach and departure. What we're looking at here is the Chesapeake sector of Potomac. Potomac is the consolidated combined um, uh, TRACON facility, terminal radar control facility that handles the BWI airport, Washington Reagan National Airport, and Dulles Airport, which you can kind of see on the screen here. BWI is in the center, and then DCA and Dulles are out here to the lower left. And then all the way down south is Richmond, which is not on the screen, but it is part of the uh, the Potomac Tracon area. So this is the, the, the green boundary here is just the Chesapeake sector. So this is mainly the sector that handles BWI. Uh, I'm told tonight that it's going to be handling BWI and some other satellite airports scattered throughout the area. So we'll be as prepared as possible for that, which means not very. And uh, <laughs> and so we'll see how that goes. Um, but uh, but again, this is something that we don't ordinarily stream, and it is going to be you know something that uh, you know that we that we aren't going to be terribly interactive with the chat. Hence that giant yellow warning down there at the bottom of the screen. So I, I apologize in advance that I'm not really going to be able to uh, to say hi to everybody tonight. We will catch up at the end, and I'll try to answer any questions that I saw pop up in the chat as we went. Uh, but uh, do forgive me in the meantime that it won't be hor horribly interactive, uh, but I hope that you guys do enjoy the, uh, the program anyway. With us again tonight, a uh, crew that is becoming somewhat familiar to you by now, I presume, is the air traffic manager and former training administrator of the Washington ARTCC on VATSIM, Mr. Jared West. Good evening, Ron. Hello. The uh, current deputy air traffic manager and the former training administrator of the Washington ARTCC on VATSIM, Mr. Jay Bartlett. Jay? Good evening, sir. And the current training administrator and soon to be future deputy air traffic manager. Oh, wait a minute. Uh <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a I get fired already? <laughs> the current training administrator, and who knows what his future holds, but uh, <laughs> is uh, Dylan Lundberg, the uh, training administrator for the Washington ARTCC. Dylan? Hello, everyone. All right. Well, thank you, friends, for coming back and uh, offering to... Uh, to beat me up again for a couple of hours. <laughs> it's so <not> um, <laughs> I turned the program over to you. I am now your you-know-whats for the uh, next couple of hours, and you guys can let me know what's going on tonight. Cool. Awesome. So usually about this time in, in a student's training, we want to kind of see where you've put together your skills that you've learned uh, over the last couple of sessions. And uh, you know, I know that you know maybe you might have some self-doubt and that kind of thing, but we're here to tell you that the last session you were – Kind of putting things together and kind of seemed like it was making sense right so the the this session tonight is going to be us rather quiet we're going to let you figure things out on your own mm, okay. um, one of the biggest things that trach on on vets him you know it, it forces you to problem solve uh you know you may make a wrong turn you, you may forget a speed and then how do you fix it Right. And that that's an important skill that we look for is being able to, to, to say, OK, well, I messed that up. I screwed that up. Uh, I kind of hosed that stream. Fine. You know what? It happens. How do I get myself out of it? Right. Okay. So we're going to be quiet, which is probably good <laughs> in some cases, <laughs> um, but we're going to be quiet and we're going to let you go through it. Now, of course, you can stop at any point and say, hey, what do I do? Or, you know, I don't know what to do. Right. You know, help, help, you know, right. phone a friend kind of thing if you want. Right. Um, but beyond that, it's going to be pretty much just yeah. let's go through the file, see where it goes. Gotcha. So, so then, and if I really get in trouble, it's fly heading three six zero until further advised, and <laughs> frequency change Contact advisories York approved. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't the live network. We don't do that on Swipex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> Wait, what? 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 <laughs> right. So. All uh, right, fair enough. Before we get into the, I guess the the brunt of the program, and I do appreciate everything that you said, and we, you know, this is kind of like 
just give get a chance to show what you can do and 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 expose what you can't do, which I understand completely. I do want to uh, just have you guys walk me through just a little bit because I have a sense of how the satellite field operations work from the pilot standpoint. So I can kind of envision what a, what a responsibility would be or of uh, you know of myself handling arrivals into and out of satellite fields from the uh, from this side of the scope, but. Just kind of talk me through it, so I'm kind of thinking of it in the right terms. And well, I, I think I, I, we're Jared. We loaded the file without sets, right? I did. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so okay. We're, we're, so we're not going to get into that tonight. Nah, we're we're going to give you a reprieve from that. I know we talked about okay. that last time, but you know, I think it's best just to kind of reinforce the skills that you have so far, and sure. we don't need to throw in the the Martin States and that kind of thing in, into this mix. They they're not going to gotcha. go anywhere. <laughs> we're going to have oh, to yeah. run them at some point, but yeah, now indeed, we're just going to stick with BWI. Indeed. It's probably yeah, at least yeah. a thirty-minute conversation too. So, sure. yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so, and I had put on the schedule. What's the next date that we're doing? I guess it's not quite two weeks. It's uh, uh, two weeks from this past Monday, so the twentieth, I think. So maybe that'll yep. be satellite field ops kind of uh, kind of day. Probably. Hopefully. Yeah, we like to keep the students guessing. So unless we crash and burn tonight, which you know, of course, <laughs> well, could happen. So. Yeah, that's a good point. It's yeah. all based on how it goes. That tonight. might that might be that might revert to a flying stream if that happens. <laughs> so. <laughs> You're not allowed, sir. <laughs> All right, very good. Well, I think uh, I think I've got mental preparation going. Uh, BWI is showing Winscom two nine or nine one easy enough for now. Yep. Um, so same same setup as before. It's ADIS. We're going to do some West Flow tonight. Uh, okay. Give you a little bit more room to work with in in yeah. those cases where it is oh ish something happened. Just fly him south down by billet and and Easton yeah. and, <laughs> and bring him back up. Bring but him up, uh, yeah. give you a little bit of room. So it's ADIS Alpha. We're West Flow. Tower is not on so okay uh, we'll just uh so I'll, uh, I'll be providing landing clearances and landing yeah so yeah. there may be some departures we'll pretend that that there's a training tower on and they can only do departures how's that uh okay all right well that yeah, yeah that's close enough we'll, that we'll work with that. uh <laughs> and then dca's uh showing 160 so i guess they're in south they're in south yeah okay got it um so i've got the let me just refresh for myself, and I'm going to pull this over onto the screen just to kind of talk through it. So the folks that are coming in on the Anthem, they are going to be following this path uh, across, and then they end up for 3-3. And, so, and, and we're pretty much assigning. Now, are we are we going to go into pretty much everybody on 3-3 left, or are we going to go into some pilots who are like, well, I don't have, I only have default scenery, so I need 2-8? No, we're going to pretend that uh, even in Microsoft that somebody came out with a great scenery. And well, they did, one actually. One of it. our own controllers. <laughs> um, one of our own controllers made one, and it's really good. But, um, but yeah, so we'll, all just, the, we'll just... All the runways are open. Yeah, yeah okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so uh, assuming everyone's on 3-3 left, that makes, it, that makes life a little easier because so the Anthem, they come down, and they end up on the downwind uh, off of uh, ropes and hook. Yep, um, the... and it, we're we're fine with visuals. Uh, we do. Oh, okay. Don't be surprised if you have an occasional pilot that says unable visual, blah blah blah, and ask for ILS. So be prepared okay. to give them the ILS. No problem. Or okay. and we might was... even get an RNAV in there too. Gotcha. All right. Well, hmm, something I'm not even prepared for, but uh, okay. Uh, Part of the game. Okay. Yep. Part of the game. Yep. <laughs> you um, my sentence exactly. <laughs> yep. Gotcha. Okay. And then so. Th so um, Midi's going to dump off at Jans, and that's one where I don't, we haven't discussed this, but I think I know this from, you know, from from those Friday Night Ops previews. Is that, that correct me if I'm wrong? Um, when they're on the Midi going to three three left, we don't need a vector them at all. It's at Jans cleared ILS runway three three left approach. Correct. Assuming that they're because where does the altitude of Jans on the approach compare uh, well, with the? Yeah, it should be the same. I haven't. I don't yep. have enough. Yeah. So, so Jans yeah, at four and two ten, and then if I go to, yeah, Jans at four. Got it. Yep. Okay. So you're that's you know so that's one of the benefits of West. Easy enough. Um, yep. Where did I leave off? So that's that's the uh, that's the MIDI. So MIDI to MIDI to Jans clear to ILS. Uh, Raven six is the one that goes out to. Uh, Jetna, and then I kind of just slam them onto the approach from Jetna. Um, Trish is the is the one that oh that also goes to ropes and hook. So how does that come into ropes and hook from compared to? Okay, so they merge up at yeah, it's fins. 
I'm looking. Oh yeah, Flint right. So just yep. almost south, just south and west of uh, Martin State. So Martin State, yeah. Yep. Okay, let me look at that again. So that's the merge point you need to watch. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So once they as they get close to Martin, I need to kind of be looking and and probably have already made a decision as far as sequencing. Um, right. When they come across the Westminster, they'll still come in to Westminster, and then they're kind of vectored from there. But right. Um, but that's lots of room to work with. So swing them around to the east and. And, okay. and just a, a point of, I just want to reemphasize again, okay. in, in on Sweatbox, the pilots do what we tell them to do, right? You know, mm -hmm. and they t they generally we already have a pre-programmed route. In on the live network, fins is a point to which you have to make certain, you know, are they actually doing what they're supposed to do on the on the uh, appropriate arrival for the configuration, right? So are they right. turning? Are they turning west? <laughs> yeah. Or yeah, are yeah. they turning east? So you know, look okay. at that and see. So because if they have the wrong runway at, at Finns, they may head directly east over the bay, right? I think it's Ash or something like that. Um, and so you just you know pay attention to that and make sure that they have the right runway entered in. If you don't see them go from Finns almost due south, then there's yeah. a problem, right? Yeah. So, uh, so Finns, Fox, yeah, Finns south, thing, but... and then they turn. To that 150, basically that downwind heading. Correct. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it, it, that's just a you know a thing to put in the back of your mind when you're on a live network. You know, pilots do make mistakes. Fair enough. If I could um, just put in my my keys to success for this file, mm -hmm. it's a little more traffic probably than you've seen so far, but there it's all going to Baltimore. The okay. key is, uh, it's going to force you to sequence and have a really good finals box right so the tighter you keep it the better your sequence is the okay. better off you're going to do uh so like you said before have your sequence in mind already not everybody is going to cookie cutter fit into the sequence mm -hmm. so you're going to have to make some adjustments and that's kind of what we want to want you to figure out what works for you and uh we don't care what it is just do just make sure it's legal right right and make and make your sequence work so um if you want to talk about your your plan or talk about it out loud, that's that's actually totally okay. Okay, yeah, and that'll be beneficial for the stream audience as well. Yep, kind of get an insight as to what I'm, you know, what what convoluted plan I'm hatching in my little skull here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The other thing, the other thing too to remember, and this is quick, I promise, is that the plan changes sometimes, right? Just because mm. you want it to happen that way if it's not ending up that way or have another plan come yeah. up with another plan gotcha yeah plan b and plan c and plan d and all the way up through probably that r or s constantly yeah. swirling around up there. <laughs> yep. Yep. and if it really Always. ain't gonna work it's okay to pull someone out and do it again yeah you know yeah absolutely so. gotcha okay ready as i'm ever gonna be gentlemen <laughs> okay all right, all right. so uh, your handoffs are going to go to 19. That's Jared on DC 19 center, 125.45. Okay. So you're going to send the radar handoffs there, and then you have uh, Deal, OJ, Fluky, and Tyson open. Did we mm. work with those last time? I don't remember. Uh, yeah, that's, we did. Although I guess um, I guess the, uh, Jared said that these are all coming to Baltimore, so that probably won't come into play. Well, there are some DCA ones. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And there's well, departures I'll... also. Yeah, so, and I, I think... It... Oh, there's departures. That's true. All right. Okay. Just make sure when you give the voice handoff, try and use the right frequency. Okay. I'll do my best. You know, call me yeah, out of the no ones worries. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> All right. I guess we're going to be. Okay. I see stuff moving already. He's a DCA. He's on a deal. Oh, you know what I didn't do, guys? I didn't set up my little reminders. So I'm not going to be a chump and tell you to, tell you to pause it. But I am going <laughs> like... to... We, could, we can if you want to. Uh, you to. If you don't mind, I... Yeah, we, we'll pause it for just, sure. Just to, get, just to get my reminders up on the screen, because I did completely forget to do that. All right, so Clipper and Skills, that's they're coming in from up here. So on the deal, what's the final altitude? Uh, deal, uh, they're landing south, so that's going to be 10. So 
that, that goes there. Although that one's wrong, I don't know why I even put that one up there. I guess I should, I could fix it, but. <laughs> Deal three is the one that comes in kind of over here. Anthem three is the one that kind of comes in from up here. Westminster, kind of that same. Same general area. Oh, all right. And the last thing that I would would prep on, um, but don't have still haven't quite figured out is the uh, MVA map. Um, Raven's going to come in from down here because I do need to figure out before I get behind already. Is are you, uh, so, are you so, trying to pop it up? Well, no, I and it's I, I think I've I keep forgetting to update the sector file to where it like it's even like not buried in the list, but just just for for um south and east of BWI, like where I'm vectoring on the three three left, is that all basically two thousand there? Uh, yeah, for the most part. I mean, there's there's a okay. couple of pockets that are north of the field that are above 2,500, but pretty much everything okay. to the south. Over the bays, obviously, you know. It's water, so yeah, the yeah, altitude yeah, is zero. I mean, yeah, I mean, occasional lighthouse or whatever. But yeah, yeah. Uh, over on the peninsula, I think it's seven. Yeah, I just turned it on. It's 17. Okay, uh, and so then, if, I'm, if I'm vectoring, if I'm yeah, if kind of vectoring toward Oriole at, at 2,000, then, I, then I'm okay. Uh, yeah. That's yeah, okay. you're fine. Two thousand is a good rule of thumb. If they do, for whatever reason, go a little bit north, and say you just forgot to give them a turn, just climb them before they get there. Before, you know, like for example, if you turn them onto a, a base turn, and then you forget about them, and then they're flying up, and they keep going up by Westminster. Even yeah. there, it's like twenty five. That should shove them back to. That should shove them back to three, and maybe swing them out yeah. to duds or whatever. Yep, okay. exactly. All right, so two thousand is a good number. All right, we'll do this. Is we're ready now. Um, all right, so let's go there. Dominic Perch, Envoy forty four eighteen one five thousand, going to cross billet at one one thousand. Envoy 4418, Potomac Approach. Bomber altimeter 2991. Descend via the deal. Three arrival, Washington landing south. Down via the deal and landing south. Do you have an altimeter for us? Yep, 2991. 901, thank you. 4418. I don't think I gave him the Washington ATIS, but I'd say it's Alpha. Per chair, Wisconsin, thirty-eight seventy-three one two thousand with Charlie at Baltimore. <laughs> Wisconsin, thirty-eight seventy-three Potomac Roach. Baltimore information Alpha is current. Please go fetch that. Altimeter two nine or nine or one. All right, we'll go fetch that at nine or one thirty eight seventy three. And Wisconsin thirty eight seventy three. In the meantime, you can descend via the Trishley arrival. Expect ILS runway three three. Expect visual uh, runway three three left approach. All right, visual to three three and down via the Trish Air Wisconsin thirty eight seventy three. Thirty eight seventy three 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 left three three left. Three three left Air Wisconsin thirty eight seventy three.
This may be the last time I have an opportunity to get a sip of beverage in, so I'll do it now. <laughs> so you want to start calling it slow, and then you eat your words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Tomic Approach, uh, November 907, Charlie. Charlie, I heard your board. We're 5,500 <laughs> with request. <laughs> November 907, Charlie, Charlie, Potomac Approach, good evening. Hello, uh, we're, let's see, 5 north of Westminster, 5500, and we like to do, we like to enter the Bravo and do a full stop at Baltimore. November 907, Charlie, Charlie, Potomac Approach, Squawk 2470. 2470, 7 Charlie, Charlie. Number seven, Charlie, Charlie, Raider contacts. Baltimore altimeter 2999 or one. Expect, uh, okay, no, that's not a visual approach. Hold on, let me think the three phraseology. Um, proceed direct to Baltimore and, uh, hold on. I'm stumbling through this. It's, he's still 25 miles out. I remember this from last time. I, I said report the field in sight. He was like, you know, in, in Pennsylvania. <laughs> um so what's what's the first like that that's a good question what's the first thing we say to a, a vfr um hold on I'm, I'm thinking out loud guys um okay. so all right so basically cleared into the well i don't think i've even cleared him in the bravo uh well, that, and that's so, the first thing you should do yeah radar contact um radar contact position is reported um Cleared into the Washington Class Bravo airspace. Maintain VFR out or below 5,500. And that's really all I need to give him for now, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, and, the and yeah, the, yeah, the ultimate. Okay. As Got they it. get closer, you want to, you know, because the, the other thing is you don't want to over control them, right, mm -hmm. for VFR right. guys. Um, I'll shut up and let Southwest talk to you. Departure Southwest 3417, 3.2, climb in via. Southwest 3014. Uh, 3417 Potomac departure rare contact so you don't you don't want to over control him right so it, as long as he's not impacting anybody else he can fly yeah. out and whatever yeah. he wants right yep. if if you need him to go direct to field then have proceed direct to field yeah so, uh, yep, him... so I'm, not, I'm not even going to do that for now he's kind of continuing to make his way in and then when yep. he gets a little closer then i'll ask him to report the field in sight and uh, to yeah. send him for his uh, his pattern entry yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's also VFR, so yeah. the field yeah. insight's kind of a you know, extra. Yeah, it's okay. extra. It's not, you know, literally just okay. contact. So area. I could, so I could yeah. literally say, well, once he gets close enough, I can, I can have him descend, and then once he gets close enough, just you know, make right, you know, enter right downwind for runway one five, or I'm sorry, runway three three right. Yep, exactly. And then, and then contact there. Yeah, if you're okay. working tower too. If you're not, it's you know as he gets close to the field and he's inside tower's airspace, contact tower and and yeah. and you can hand off tower the the tag if you want to. Roger. Okay. Um. But but I'm keeping them for arrivals though, right? Uh. Yeah. For arrivals. Okay. Got it. Perch American four twenty seven one two thousand. American four twenty seven. Potomac Approach, good evening. Baltimore altimeter 2991. Descend via the clipper, t or correction. Uh, cross Baltimore at and maintain 10,000, speed 250 knots, Washington landing south. All right, landing to the south, Baltimore 10,000 uh, feet, 250 knots, and 901, American 427. All right, Envoy 4418 goes to deal. Right, and then uh, wait a minute. So f f four nineteen, right? Yep. yep. Perch, I'm Wisconsin one. I'm with forty four eighteen contact Potomac Potomac approach one two eight point three five. See it. One two eight point three five envoy forty four eighteen. Perch, Air Wisconsin one twenty three one five thousand. Wisconsin 123, Potomac Approach, good evening. Baltimore Information Alpha Current, altimeter 29991. Expect visual approach runway 33 left. 
All right, visual approach a 3 3 left, and we'll pick up Alpha, Wisconsin 123. There's Mitty, so he's going to four. Oh man, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and what's Delta doing? He's MIDI also. And he's Anthem. Perch Delta 774 one five thousand with Alpha at Baltimore. Delta seven seventy four Potomac Approach. Good evening, Baltimore Altimeter two nine nine one. Descend via the MIDI 2 arrival, expect visual approach runway 33 left. Down via 33 left, Delta 774. All right, their speeds are good for now. Number 907, Charlie, Charlie. Maintain VFR out or below 2500. VFR out or below 2500, Sierra 7, Charlie, Charlie. Sierra seven Charlie Charlie enter right downwind runway one uh, correction runway three three right right downwind for three three right seven Charlie Charlie Brickyard is skills and that guy is Anthem uh, uh, Atomic approach Brickyard thirty one forty three one six thousand with Alpha Brickyard thirty one forty three Atomic approach. Baltimore altimeter two nine nine one cross Baltimore at and maintain one zero thousand two five zero knots Washington landing south. All right, Baltimore at ten and two fifty and landing south. Brickyard thirty one forty three. All right. Um, so this one goes to crash uh, nineteen. Crap F four and then nineteen. But then who does he actually go to? Southwest 3417, contact Washington Center, 125.45. We'll see. Uh, maybe 125.45, you say? Okay, you want to pause fine. it? Right? We can talk about it after, or you want to pause it? Well, yeah, let's just pause it, because I think it's important to... Okay. Paused. First, first is, remember, you know, obviously during, like, an event or something, generally speaking, the, the positions will be talked about beforehand, explained, you can ask questions in the briefing, right. all that good stuff. But if you're on and all of a sudden, which, <laughs> to be honest, doesn't happen very often, but, you know, two departures pop on. First thing mm -hmm. is figure out who they are. So who are they? Uh, the departures are. Wait, wait a minute. Are you talking about the planes or the or the sectors? The sectors. Okay, so the departures are. Oh, crap. Hold on one second. Um, I go back to the SOPs. Oh, it's okay. So it's it's uh, fluky and. What is Victor? Oh, uh, Yankee. Is... Oh, is that Yankee? Oh. Yeah, it's Yankee. Sorry. So, okay, so it's Fluky and Tyson. Yeah, so the way the way I always remember it, right, and this is just because my brain sometimes does mm -hmm. stupid things like this, but uh, it, it was, Tyson is the mall, right? And Tyson's corner is obviously on the ground so people can walk in. That's yeah. lower than Fluky. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So when you see them together, you've got Fluky on top of Tyson. Tyson's lower because it's the mall. Well, but that if they're the lower one, then Fluky is the higher one. Okay. Generally speaking, that sector is going to have up to flight level two, three, zero. The lowest okay. a ceiling, or the 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 ceiling. Sorry, the the, the bottom of their mm -hmm. sector varies depending on whether a north flow, south flow, or all that jazz. But for the most part, you're going to hand off to them when it's on the turps. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Okay, and, and it's it's just I guess it's throwing me off because they're he's already at like 17 and climbing, and I just 
it, it's Correct. it's throwing me off that he's still going to another Potomac sector. Like at 17, you know, my Correct. my brain says he should be going sure. to center at that point. But well, yeah, okay. it is, it's higher than most sectors. Yeah, most it is. Uh, yeah. We, but, all we do is climb him to 230 in Mount Vernon. And then hand him right up. And yeah. then hand him to center. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so exactly. He, talk, he talks to us for, you know, 6,000 feet, and that's it. Right. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so then he's going to uh, uh, 121.05. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Southwest 3417, contact Potomac departure 121.05. We'll see you. 2105. That sounds better. 3417. Good <laughs> <laughs> Thank Before you, we end pause it, do you want to start forming your sequence? Do you want to talk about your first plan? Um, Is I'm, it too early? It's not too early. It's too late. Um, well, all right. So 7 Charlie Charlie should should be a nice tight pattern. I gotta make sure he doesn't extend that downwind too far, but he should be fine. Um, the ones coming in from the north, yeah, I mean Wisconsin thirty eight seventy three. Okay, so I guess the the big question in my mind now is how is Wisconsin thirty eight seventy three sequencing in with the two coming uh, on the midi from the bottom, and the two from the midi on the bottom seems to me they're way closer than. Um, so he's he's still thirty miles from Jans. Where's he? Where's was thirty eight seventy three? Is is no? He's closer to Jans, but obviously he's got to be swung around and intercept it from a reasonable angle. So yeah, I think the two from the bottom on the midi, you know, are going to be slammed kind of right into that three three. And is the midi the one that, that kind of slams right into the three three anyway? Um, remind it me. The midi's the one that connects at Jans, yeah. Yeah. So so those guys those guys are just basically. You know, already on the uh, on the approach, they just, they just don't know it yet. Um, and the uh, and the thirty eight seventy three will come in behind him. Okay, just remember what Dylan said: plans change. Yeah, indeed. Ready? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Departure red tape fifty five one thousand eight hundred climbing off Baltimore. How are you? Red tape fifty five Potomac departure. Good evening. Uh, rate, uh, radar contact. Uh, climb and maintain one four thousand. Fly runway heading. Uh, can we get nine hundred thousand in? That's our filed cruise. Uh, Potomac fifty five. Climb and maintain nine nine hundred thousand. Yeah. Nine hundred thousand and runway heading red tape fifty five. Perch compass fifty seven twelve one five thousand via the anthem with Alpha. Compass fifty seven twelve Potomac approach. Descend via the anthem three arrival. Expect visual approach runway three three left. Bottom right altimeter two nine nine one. All right, visual to three three left down via nine or one. Compass fifty seven twelve. Oh, All right. They're still an 11. All right, I got people flashing at me all over the place here. Um, oh, 478. They come, they come in waves. Yeah. 478, he's going to end up. Oh, gosh. So I see what you're doing to me there. Perch, Southwest 478 with Alpha 9 or 1000 via the Raven. How are we? Southwest 478, Potomac Approach. Good evening. Expect I'll expect visual approach runway 33 three left. Bottom round timeter 2991. Visual to 33 three left, 901, Southwest 478. Two more handles, and I don't even have the time to think about the sequence yet. <laughs> um, all right. So let's. Perch Envoy 4455 with Alpha 15, correction, 10,000 via the Trish. Envoy 4455, Potomac Approach. Descend via the Trish 3 arrival. Expect visual approach runway 33 three left. Visual to 33 three left and down via the Trish, Envoy 4455. All right.
So that's a uh, southwest 478. Turn right heading 120 vectors for sequence. Right turn 120 for the sequence, southwest 478. Red tape 55, turn right heading 090. Zero, 090, zero. Zero, zero, red tape 55. Uh, let's see, where's he? He's, at, he's going, going to 9. America 427, still well well above him. Brickyard Potomac what is, Departure 40, uh, Brickyard 4469, 10,000. And he's a d departure. Brickyard 44, oh man. Brickyard 4469, Potomac Approach. Climb and maintain 17,000. Climb and maintain 17,000, Brickyard 4469. All right, now I got a... Uh, okay, no I, don't, no, I don't have a question. Um, because I've got Wisconsin on a visual... But I'm I'm treating him. Uh, you know what? So actually, you the, can guys the, ILS. Off, the guys coming off the MIDI, I ought, I ought to tell them expect ILS. Yeah. Wisconsin 123 at Jans, cleared ILS runway 33 left approach. All right, at Jans, cleared ILS 33 left, Wisconsin 123. Wisconsin 123, uh, slow to 170 knots. 170 knots, Wisconsin 123. Delta 774, slow to 170 knots. Maintain 170 knots, Delta 774. Delta 774, at Jans, cleared ILS runway 33, left approach. At Jans, cleared ILS 33, left, Delta 774. Southwest 478, turn left, heading 360, descend and maintain 4000. Down to 4000, and say the heading again, sorry, 040? Uh, 360, due north. Ah, oh, gotcha. Sorry. 360 and down to 4000 southwest 478. All right. Red tape is on the swan. Red tape 55, turn right heading 04, correction, 140, heading 140, proceed direct swan, resume on navigation. Heading 140, direct swan, O nav, red tape 55. Perch flagship 4091-12000 with Alpha. Flagship 4091, Potomac Approach, good evening. Oh, sh <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was funny. Did you, did you look up his flight plan? Is that what concerned you? I was looking at his flight plan, and all of a sudden I got a conflict alert. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Which they're, they're actually fine, so I'm not sure. Yeah, they are. Um. Yeah, so flagship 4091, Potomac Approach. Good evening, Baltimore. Information Alpha Current, altimeter 2, 9 or 9 or 1. Info Alpha, 9 or 1, and flagship 4091. November 9 or 0, 7, Charlie, Charlie. Wind calm, runway 33, right, clear to land. 33, right, clear to land, 7, Charlie, Charlie. Wisconsin 123, wind call on way 33 left, clear to land. 33 three left, clear to land, Wisconsin 123. I should be giving him a point out, but I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should, Southwest 478. Uh, I forgot to give him the localizer intercept. Uh, Southwest 478, turn left, heading 300, join the uh, runway 33 left, localizer. Heading 300, and we'll let you know if we get it. We're still a little far out. We may or may not. We'll let you know, though. Southwest 478. Southwest 478, right up. Don't forget your scan. Uh, yeah, well, I got... Why does Brickyard say he's going down to zero? He's on the...
Jesus. Yeah, I got red circles all over my screen. <laughs> you shouldn't? Yeah, so maybe I've got this, the conflict alert set too high. I uh, keep mine at five because I want uh, to know before it happens, but yeah, you can turn it okay. to three, and then when it's happening, you're really screwed. But Yeah, right, exactly. Um, That's big, Bob Vernon. Uh, Matt Vernon, Chesapeake. Can I have tags on 427? Uh, coming at you. Um, if I can remember how. 19. And he's going to deal. American 427. Contact Potomac Approach 128.35. 2835, 427. All right, I'm very late getting that handoff. That was Constance on the skills. Potomac's on the MIDI. Perch Potomac 153, 15,000 with Alpha. Potomac 153, Potomac approach. Good evening, Baltimore information. Alpha current, uh, Timeter 29091. Expect visual runway 33 left. Ex correction, expect. ILS runway 33 left approach. ILS 33 left Potomac 153. Uh, Chesapeake, Gordonsville. Uh, Gordonsville, Chesapeake. Yes, I'm looking for 4469. Otherwise, I'm going to have to point him out to New York. Brickyard 4469. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess you should probably here. You, you really want him that badly then. Uh... <laughs> Then have him. Take him. Take him away from me. I paused it. You want me to pause yeah. it or no? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Brickyard 4469, contact Washington Center 125.45. 2545, 44.69. All right. What's the other one that you should be yep. thinking about handing off to? Uh, the Brickyard 3143 is on the skills. He needs to go to, uh, he needs to go to deal. Yep. That's right, so F419. Okay. So do you see why we say when they're clear conflict, send them early? Because yeah. you never know when you're going to get screwed later. I haven't, yeah, but I haven't even had a chance to, I'm, I'm not, I'm not scanning. I'm, I'm reacting. I'm just behind. Uh, Brickyard 3143, contact uh, Potomac Approach 128.35. We'll see it. See you later. Now we disconnect. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the voice so, checks. I, 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 want, yeah. <laughs> I want you to take a look at, at your, your separation of the guys on the left side. Okay. Okay. So, you happy with that? Um, so, I have the speed vectors set to where I think it's in one minute. Yep. And uh, they're not touching. So nope. they're, they're they're good. About five, you know, I think one's probably six, something like that. So yeah. you know you got you got you this is great. You're doing great. If you remember at the beginning we talked about keeping that finals box compressed. Yes. See somebody that you probably should have talked to a couple of minutes ago. Uh yeah, I see the Wisconsin thirty eight seventy three. Exactly. So, yeah. So, how that, would you solve that? Yeah. Sorry. Just no, no. Totally that's that's exactly where I was going. <laughs> yeah. Um. So there's Potomac on the MIDI. Yeah, he needs an immediate kind of right turn there. Yep. Um. So yeah. So turn right. I'm gonna give him. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I gotta catch my breath. It's okay. It, let let me talk, and then you can catch your breath. And so, yep. one of the things that you can do. Uh, in that instance, right, is give them a turn towards Jans and then add the part, proceed direct Jans when able. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you do sometimes, what we, at least I have found, found and sometimes on Vets, if you tell them proceed direct, they say, oh, okay, I'll turn left. But in this case, it's not going to matter, right? Because there's no one really yeah. out there. You got one Potomac coming in, but he's kind of far away from them, relatively speaking. Well, so, I'm sorry, go ahead. Finish your uh, it's okay. So, I mean, at the end of the day, if he turns left, it's not the end of the world, right? But if, if you want to control which turn he makes, you know, right turn heading 300, proceed direct jams when able. 
Yeah. Or you can just give him a turn. Just give him he three zero eventually... zero. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah, exactly. So do that now. So that that puts him back and you know in the direction that he has to go to get to pick up the the localizer or a visual. Gotcha. Just remember this: uh, like most localizers, only go out about twenty ish miles. Yeah. Yeah, so when so, when Southwest 478 responded, I don't have the localizer yet. Yeah, that, that was a good reminder. So what could you do to send him somewhere that you knew he was going to intercept the localizer? Proceed to right advance. Yeah. And that solves all your problems, doesn't it? Yeah. You can even tell him turn right direct chance. Yeah, fair enough. And um, And you still look for ways that are like going to reduce your workload, you know what I mean? Yeah, indeed. Um, but it's important. I, it's important that you take that breath and and look what you've done so far. You don't have any conflicts, right? Yeah, a couple of late handoffs, but that's just a workflow sequence thing that you right, kind of get yeah. used to over a while. But do, yeah, well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like I'm feeling flustered as hell right now because I should. haven't. Yeah. This this has set up pretty much on its own. I don't feel like I've done this. I feel like this magically happened. <laughs> well, no, well, it, um, well, I'll tell you all, what, the, the, the file doesn't work that way, but yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, anyway. Um, and it's not called Sweatbox for nothing. <laughs> yeah, right, well, I, yeah, exactly. No, and it's not the first time I have said, um, well, particularly thinking back to S2, like I remember some Sweatbox sessions and I was like, okay, damn, this, this thing just earned its name. Because I was like literally grabbing a paper towel, <laughs> like waking myself up. <laughs> so, it's a workout. I think I remember um, those conversations. Yes, yes, indeed. So yeah, so I'm I'm feeling like very stressed and panicked because I'm like struggling to keep up. And uh, as soon as I start, as soon as I take a breath to think about, okay, I see two planes. I need to manage this and that. I need to kind of you know watch their spacing. I need to watch their speeds. You know, I, I really haven't paid attention to speeds. I'm probably they're probably running each other over right now. Um, but it's like before I even get that thought through my head, I'm hearing that handoff thing again, and it's like I uh, just. Uh. Well, yeah, but it, <laughs> especially especially when they call you up, right? You know, yeah, that's kind of like ah oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, and especially exactly. from Chesapeake, you're getting it from three different controllers. <laughs> yeah, yeah right. you are. And so, like, they might not even know that they all just flash someone to you at the same time. Right. right. No, exactly. Right. Yeah, they're they're coming in from everywhere, and it's uh, yeah. So I. But, I, but I, the, the the key thing is, it's a building block. Right. So, yeah, trying to put it all together and, and it's a lot. Right. Because you're like, oh, crap, I forgot about that. Well, yeah. the next time that you do and you get on the network or whatever, you know, even do a session, you're going to remember that you're going to remember, yeah. oh, I do have to hand off and you can hand off to Mount Vernon north of just slightly north of Baltimore. Right. Assuming, like Jared said, clear conflict, no speed issues, no, oh, my God, this is going to you know put a deal off to somebody else. Mm -hmm. assuming, assuming that's the case, get them off of your to do list. Gotcha. Right. And but it's it's all building blocks. Right. So yeah. you learn, but you got to give yourself credit where you're at. There's no conflicts. There's everyone's doing what they're supposed to do, which is what which is all Tracon is. Right. That's yeah. why the arrivals are built that way. And the approach is built that way to make it easier for you, easier for you. Right. You're doing it. So get everybody to uh, unpause and knock it out. Did I uh, can you remind me whether I've given Southwest the approach yet? Uh, he's joining the localizer last I heard. That's okay. Thank you. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm ready to unpause. You're moving. Oh, I'm sorry. One more thing. I, um, I, I gave Wisconsin clear to land. I don't know if I've given. All right. Well, let's do that first. Delta 774, if I haven't told you already, wind, calm, runway 33, left clear to land. 33, left clear to land. Delta 774. Southwest 478 at Jan's cleared ILS, runway 33, left approach. Uh, at Jan's cleared ILS 33 three left, southwest 478. Wisconsin 3873, turn right heading 300. 300, Wisconsin 3873. Uh, Potomac uh, 153, he's on the Trish, so he's going no lower than six, so he's fine for now. But now, um, think about this, right? So he's yeah. going to take Wisconsin time to turn. He's, yep. how fast is he going? You said it before, speed you're not really paying attention to. Now's the time to pay attention to speed. He's turning. How fast is he compared to Potomac? Um, He's a lot slower. So Potomac's going to run him over a little bit, but then I'm going to pull Potomac in kind of from the south to get him on the localizer. Okay. Um, 
and, and I, want, I want 3873 to keep the speed up for now because I want to close up that space. Exactly. Um, yep. All right, 4455 is on the Trish. So he's joining that downwind. Uh, Potomac 55 is resuming on that, so he's fine. Flagship I haven't really dealt with yet, but I, ha I don't really have to yet. Um, well, mm, check again. Yeah, you may you may want to think about he, that. He, one he may second. or may not call you at the next transmission. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's doing after Baltimore yet. Well, what's he what's he what's he supposed to do? Well, he's a, he's the one that his route just ends at the Baltimore VOR, right? Yeah, but then he, technically he's clear to the airport, so he can go to the airport and hold. But yeah, no, I, so <laughs> the I'm gonna, is at the airport. I'm gonna need to give him a depart Baltimore heading something something something. Correct. You gonna wait that long? Uh, I guess. Yeah, because I'm <laughs> I've got other priorities right now. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yes, and well, and and the other thing, like I'm having, I'm struggling with, is like, so he's at seventeen five. Did I? I never even gave him a descent. No. Okay. Not. All right. Well, uh, flagship forty ninety one descent and maintain seven thousand. Seven thousand flagship forty ninety one. Potomac Approach, Wisconsin, 3755-16000. Last aircraft call on, say call sign again. Uh, it's Wisconsin, 3755, and for some reason we're descending through 16000. 3755 is... Wisconsin, 3755, Potomac Approach. Baltimore altimeter, 2991. Washington landing south, cross Baltimore at and maintain one zero thousand two five zero knots. Baltimore at and maintain one zero thousand two five zero knots, landing south thirty seven fifty five. So that's F five one hundred, and I, I have no idea how well I'm maintaining the data blocks. Can you pause it real quick, Jared? I just want to. I probably pause it quick. All right. So envoy forty four fifty five. One of the things that we we've, we've kind of said it over and over again is you have to do things to make your life easier, right? Yeah. What's something that you can do with him to make your life easier? He is, well, he's, okay, he's on the Trish. Yep. I can get him uh, on the ground. Get, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and that's the, the, that's the thing is, like, I just keep losing the mental picture of which ones are DC. I, like, every time I'm like, oh, I need to figure out what I'm doing with this guy. I'm like, I forget whether he's coming to Baltimore or whether he's going to yeah. DCA. So what you, you know? can do is is move what you can do in VRC that you can't do in VSTARS is is move the data tag, right? So mm -hmm. if you move the data tag due west for all of your national arrivals, right? It's you know obviously uh. you have to make sure no one else is in west, but it kind of helps with your brain. So if you have yeah, one yeah. guy that's off to the left of the data tag, you know he's national. Everybody else is going to go to something to you, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. That, that's good. To, to Jared's point, Envoy 4 to 455, can you just send him and turn him on now? I, Close yeah, to now. I can. Okay. Uh, yeah, he can. He's. I'm going to slide him in next. I mean, he's, he's yep. right there. Yep. And at the same time, I've still got two handoffs to accept. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> and, and it's even realistic because I heard you get slam dunked at Baltimore. <laughs> right. <Hey -o. laughs> Yep. All right, and I so Wisconsin I, and all right Potomac's okay. And what's uh, so I see what's happened is I wanted Potomac to continue west, and he's continuing on the arrival. So that's that. That was my fault. I should have taken control of him and had him had him continue west. Uh. Well. Okay. Well, I was Just... so I was going to have him coming behind Wisconsin, and now it looks like I've screwed up that sequence because they're going to race and race each other to the airport. That one would have always been hard, given the fact that until he gets down below ten thousand, he was coming in at three thirty over the ground, he something was like cooking. that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that that's always that's and the time it takes for Wisconsin to make that turn, it's mm -hmm. it's going to cut the geometrical difference between the two of them in half, and so especially with his speed, it's okay. It's now you can still bring Wisconsin west and bring him up like through the Raven, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, true, and I can just let the Potomac yeah, yep. guy coming first, yep. yeah. So that, that lessens your workload because you don't have to give Potomac any vectors. <laughs> you just have to clear yeah. him with Jans, right? So duh, you don't have to worry about him. Just make, yeah. make sure he's not coming in at 250 at Jans, right? So that kind of thing. But definitely turn Envoy in first 
because then they're out of your hair and you can then focus on the ones that you've had to put on vectors. Yeah, and splat's 2,400, so if I get him to 2, then he can take splat. Okay. Exactly. Yep. And that also keeps your finals box tight. Yep. And it's visual, so, I mean, you just got to yeah, get him descending visual. now and turn him and point out the airport. Oh, that's true. I, and I keep forgetting that. I'm, I'm, I'm rooted in this, this erroneous mindset that everyone's joining the ILS. Okay. I get my get my head out. I mean, of that. you can advertise the ILS and then give them the visual last minute, and I usually will do that so they have it loaded up if I need them to use it. Yeah, fair. So, and then you get the pilots that are like, "What's a visual?" <laughs> then I clear for the, the ILS. ILS. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What yeah. the I what the ILS? Yep. Okay. You ready? Well, I am ready. I mean, I'm I'm not ready to take those two handoffs yet, but I'm ready to. <laughs> you have to be soon. So get uh, it. Yeah, I got you. Especially on the Raven, right? The yeah. ones that come through the trash, you have a little bit more time, right? Um, but definitely the ones of the Raven, you have very little time. Yep. Okay, I'm ready as I'm going to be. Envoy 4455, turn right heading 270, descent maintain 2000. Right turn 270, 2000, 4455. Um, let's take this guy. Uh, who else? Who am I done with? Perch Southwest 451, 9000 with Alpha descending via the Raven. Southwest 451, Baltimore approach, Baltimore altimeter 29er, 9 or 1, expect visual runway 33 left approach. Visual 33 left, Southwest 451. Oh, Jesus. Envoy 4455 on the rollout fields at your 2 o'clock, 9 miles report in sight. We have the field in sight, Envoy 4455. Envoy 4455, clear visual approach, runway 33 left. Good visual, 33 left, 4455. Hey, uh, Chesapeake, uh, New York. <laughs> New York, Chesapeake. Hello, a handoff uh, 40 north of Baltimore, 10,000. <laughs> it's a cactus uh, embryo. Uh... That's about that. That that tracks. That, 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 that tracks. He's flash. He, yeah. He's he's flashing to you. Can, can you pause? Oh it yeah, yeah. Here? yeah. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry if I broke everybody. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> So he, so he's calling me about oh okay he's calling me about yeah, the one that, that's he, already he, flashed he, over to me I was I'm he, starting to look, yeah. sort of look at the one that's not flashing yet because I, I I got you uh, yeah well because New York wants he wants he wants to get it off he to wants you. to Plus dump it's this guy your airspace right I it's know. like it's in your airspace he can no longer do anything technically right right now at the same time and the reason why I had Jared pause it what are you going to do with cactus because is he going to go to somebody else's airspace cactus. The, the 62? 3873. Uh, sorry, oh. Wisconsin 3873. Wisconsin 3873. I'm not even... Yeah, Which you are. Is you he? remember him. He's your friend that you took on a tour of the bay. Wisconsin 3873. Huh? I'm like not even seeing him right now. Uh, How would you highlight a plane in VRC? Uh, type his call sign. Hit aircraft select. Okay, I see him. Yeah, and he's... He's on a heading. I forget what it was, but he's on a heading yeah, that's going to take him into... Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. I see, I see what you're... Okay. So one of the things in the scan, and the, one of the reasons why we do the scan, is the kind of the, the build your order of importance. Right. Mm -hmm. So New York called you up. <laughs> okay, fine. You know, okay, I'm going to answer you. You know, uh, they popped into TeamSpeak and I, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. I'll take it. Go away. <laughs> now, that's great. You can take the handoff, but you have to think about the order of importance. Wisconsin needs to turn, not only because he's going to go into Mount Vernon, but because you also have Southwest 4751 coming up through the Raven. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with Wisconsin 3873? Well, he needs an immediate 
well, I can't. he needs an immediate right turn to join the localizer, but I uh, he's he's going to run into uh, he's going to run into Potomac one fifty three, and one fifty three is at seven. He's not. He's just below seven thousand. Yep. So what what are, what are how do you create separation that you think may not be there? Uh, well, the best way to the best way to get it, I think. Well, so Potomac could I could three sixty him to the right. Wisconsin, okay. bang on to the localizer right now. Okay. Um, but if you three sixty somebody, right? That's a that's a that's a lot of good, time. Yeah, it's a lot of time, and they're pretty much going to hold relatively close in that space. Yeah. If you've got more aircraft coming up on the MIDI, now you're really going to hold yourself, right? Because so the, the the easiest thing to do is slow Wisconsin, descend Wisconsin, and turn him north. And point him right at the airplane you want him to follow. Yep. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Right, because the thought is with the with appropriate speed control, he would fall in right behind him. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, because the Potomac's still at two sixty, and he's how do you nuts. know what Potomac's doing? Like indicated, he's below the, ten thousand, so he's doing less than two fifty. We think. Yeah, right? well, he's two sixty over the ground according to okay. the scope, so he's probably two forty ish. So you you have, you have a couple ways to figure out his speed, right? You could say, "Hey, Potomac one fifty three, say speed. airspeed," and then he's got to right. come back and tell you that. And then if you want to adjust it, you have to transmit again, and then he has yeah. to read it back, and you've done four four transmissions. Yeah. How else could you do it with two transmissions? Um, Atomic 153 maintain 210 knots. Yeah, that's true. Now I know what just, you're doing. Right. Right. Yeah. And and then you can match that with 3873. If you want him to do the same speed, tell him to do 210 knots also. Gotcha. Um, just kind of fixes the problem. You're just telling them how to fix the problem, right? Yeah. Yeah, I I got you. So for 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 for, for fixing this, so one fifty three, I'm I'm pretty much. And again, I don't remember at this point whether I've given him the approach clearance at Jans. I don't think I have. Even even if you have, even if you don't know if you have or haven't, give just it to give him it, again. Just give <laughs> yeah, it to him again. I mean, yeah. it's like, reinforcing it's not a bad thing. Yeah. It's a perfect not, time to give him that speed restriction, and then you know tell him when he can cancel it. Right. Well, I want him. I want him fast right now because I want him ahead of Wisconsin. Okay. So tell him maintain two thirty or greater until Jans. Okay. That makes sense. And then, huh, and then I've got four people flashing at me, and I got four flagship that's about to cross over Baltimore, and I haven't told him what to do yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, uh, send him east from Baltimore. So, where's your most open airspace in your sector right now? Um, where could you send him where he's going to be out of your way? North and so west, you can, so you can descend him a little more. North and west, where else? Well, so what my thought was was right now, give him basically at like a due south off of Baltimore and he's going to kind of fall in behind Southwest 451. Okay. What were you uh, another say? place, another place that I like to send these kind of people, um, mm -hmm. uh, with Westminster arrivals, people just mm -hmm. go into Baltimore is like over where Swan is. Oh, okay. you don't have any departures right now. True. And, uh, you can, the departures are restricted to four. So that means you could get him down to five and he's not going to be in anybody's way. Even if you gave them direct swan at four, right? Okay, yeah, I see what you're saying. So you have you have a little bit of room down over there to, to work keep them outside of the ones coming off of like the um, the Trish. Yeah, so you just keep them like a little bit east of that downwind. East of Martin, yeah. <laughs> All you right. have options. This is why we <laughs> said at the beginning, right? This is a puzzle, but it, you can solve it a million different ways. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, so priorities for me right now. Um, flagship needs. Well, I feel bad giving him like that <laughs> crazy left. I don't know. I think I think I can get. 
Wisconsin. Well, here's here's a question then. If I give flagship, you know, kind of a do south. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna pass Baltimore, and then he's gonna end up kind of whoops, not really on a downwind. But uh, actually, I'm gonna just move that out of the way. Um, not really on a downwind, but I can give him kind of like a one. Well, I can give him a one like sixty ish, and kind of point him toward the southwest. We'll see. Another thing you could do. Are you talking about flagship or with oh, flagship? Yeah, the one that's he's crease. He's he needs and he needs yeah. an instruction now. He's about to cross over Baltimore. What were you gonna um, say, Dylan? I was gonna say um, you said one six zero. You would you were thinking of? Yeah. So just not w- not quite on the downwind, but just a little bit away from the airport on the downwind. Okay. To the south of the airport. Yeah. Southwest. See. Yeah, almost almost direct due south, right? Because, but well, I, don't, my, I don't. My it my, depends my question what you're is, planning to, exactly to do with him. My concern is that ravens are going to keep coming in, right? And then what Jared was saying earlier that maybe send him somewhere where there's not a lot of airplanes. Hmm. But I mean, I you know, if if you have a plan, then go for it. I think I missed the part. If you had a, pl- a sequence for him yet, I don't know. Well, I'm kind of thinking behind Southwest four four fifty one. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Because I've got a to gap there, yeah. Because <laughs> I've got a gap there. I mean, I do see that there's there's somebody down south and west of him, but it looks like there's a gap there. I can put him in. So that makes more sense in my brain now. Okay. Yeah. Well, and that's that's why we do the set box, so you can try a plan and see how it works. Yeah. Just be careful descending him below five there, because again, you have two eight taken off and go into. Uh, you know, going to four on the Swan and the Paleo departure, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I think I gave him a seven just to kind of give him a. I, I wanted to keep him above the sixes that are, you know, that the Ravens are going down to, just in case, you know, just in case I screwed something up and forgot about him. Then at least he's got that thousand foot. Right. That's that positive control you're talking about. See, I remembered something. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what I he remember. He knows to throw my keywords back at me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get you back for all it. those pings when he's on stream. Right. You're killing me with the handoffs, guys. Um, Ready to try it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Do you want to I, accept I, your handoffs and get them out of the way? <laughs> I can. Well, I mean, I can. Yeah, I can. I can unflat. You know, I can take the the tags. No problem, but I'm not ready to talk to four more planes at once right now. But it is what it is. This is this, this, <laughs> this is the game. The, the, uh, maybe New York won't be so nice, but the Washington guys won't send them all at the same time. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> well, that depends on who's controlling the whole city. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Here they go. <laughs> all right. And what did I? What did I? What did I last give envoy? I'll just, all right, uh, I'll just say it again. Oh, he's Paul cleared. Okay. Oh, he's clear for the approach. Yeah. Uh, Potomac 153 at Jans cleared ILS runway 33 three, left approach. At Jans cleared ILS 33 three, left Potomac 153. Wisconsin 3873 turn right heading 060 six, zero, maintain uh, 170 zero knots. 060 zero, zero, 170 zero knots. Uh, Wisconsin 3873. Approach Cactus sixty two one zero thousand via the Trish. Cactus sixty two Potomac approach. Baltimore altimeter two nine or nine or one. Descend via the Trish three arrival. Expect visual approach runway three three left. Visual three three left and down via Cactus sixty two. Flagship forty ninety one. Turn left heading one six zero. Descend and maintain five thousand. One six zero five thousand flagship forty ninety one. Potomac Southwest seven zero six one two thousand via the Trish. Southwest seven zero six Potomac approach. Turn left heading one nine or zero. Descend and maintain four thousand. Baltimore altimeter two nine or nine or one. Down to four thousand. What was the heading again? Sorry. One eight zero due south. One eight zero, and that was for Cactus sixty two. 
Negative. Southwest, Southwest 706. Southwest 706. Okay, yep. Okay. We're good. We're good. Perch, Southwest 451, 6,000. I already called him. I'm a mess. Southwest 451. Potomac Approach. Oh, you, you, hold on. Did you, you say you, you already called in? Yeah, I, I already called him in. Southwest 451, Potomac Approach. Expect visual approach from way 33 left, send and maintain 4,000. 4,000 visual, 33 left, Southwest 451. Wisconsin 3873, turn left, heading 360. Join the. Or get, get on the rollout fields at your f 10 o'clock, 15 miles report in sight. We have the field and we also have the 7 3 in sight for Wisconsin 3873. Wisconsin 3873, follow that traffic. Cleared visual approach runway 33 left. Okay, follow that traffic and we're cleared visual 33 left, Wisconsin 3873. Southwest 451. Traffic, Wisconsin CRJ. Hold on, traffic. What's the hold on? What's the sequence of the of the of the call? Uh, Twelve o'clock, three miles northbound. A CRJ at uh, four thousand. Report in sight. We have him in sight. Southwest four fifty one. Southwest four fifty one. Follow that traffic. Clear visual approach runway three three left. All right, just so you know, we're going to try to slow down and descend. I'm not, not quite sure if it's going to work. Southwest 451. Wisconsin descend. 38... Go ahead. No, go ahead. That's, that's Wisconsin 3873, maintain 190 knots. 190, 3873. What's his current altitude, by the way? Which one? 3873. Okay. All right, he's at five. Is it four? Compass fifty seven twelve. Descend and maintain two thousand. Turn right heading two seven zero. Two thousand two seven zero fifty seven twelve. Chesapeake Philly. Philly Chesapeake. Red tape fifty five. Question mark one three Southwest Dupont. Uh, coming at you. So, all right, so radar tag 19, hand him off, and then he's going to red tape 55, contact, Philly approach 125.65. 2565, uh, red tape 55. Wisconsin 37, oh shoot, flagship, uh, flagship 4091, turn left heading 360, descend and maintain 3000. 360, 3000, 4091. Approach November 225, Bravo Kilo, VFR request. November 225, Bravo Kilo, unable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's, that's legit, right? That's fair. Yeah, if you're yeah. if you're too busy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Is he IFR or VFR? VFR. Oh, you're not asking me. <laughs> I wasn't asking. <laughs> well, I, I so I assumed based on the the way he phrased that request that he was VFR, but looking at him, he is squawking twelve hundred. Um, it, I, I don't think it actually shows in the bottom of the arrival window, but. But yeah, he looks like a VFR target to me. Okay. All right. Um, Mount Vernon, or Chesapeake, Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon, Chesapeake. Thirty-seven fifty-five. Yep. 
And in the meantime, I'm just both completely screwing up my finals box because I just can't keep up. Um, okay. Do you want to pause it real quick? Or? I just, yeah, I mean, just by the time I figure out what I'm doing with my sequence, I get distracted by three other things and then I've completely lost my plan. So uh, yeah, I'm just. That's fine. Yeah. Well, so pause it real quick, Jared, then. So now if you. If you get in that situation, right? So Southwest four five forty, whatever it is, what is it? Nine forty one. You gave him what three six zero, right? I think something like that. Yeah, and I had intended to put compass on the localizer, but he's through it now. Okay, so how do you um, fix that? I give him a right turn, get him back on it. Yep, he's at two thousand, so there's no reason why he can't pick it up. Yeah. Plus, he's you know in in, in the right distance. Yeah, but now I've um. Southwest 941 and and flagship. I've yeah, I'm, I don't yeah. have a plan. So I think flagship. You gave the turn a little bit either too late or too quick. And so okay. if, if it's there's a sweet spot. Once you pass that sweet spot, you gotta let him fly a little bit more southeast, right? Just to give it a little turn. Yeah. When you turned him, they're effectively going to be parallel each other going north. Yeah, and I and to be honest with you, I think at that point I'm. I had lost the picture of there being three aircraft there, and I'm I'm yes. just looking at two aircraft there, and it just I just the you know, Southwest 941 just was in my blind spot at that point. It so, is, yeah, and, and and with you know, and the way when it gets compacted like this, right? Sometimes it's like holy crap, they're all it's just yeah. one big big yellow blob, right? Um, do some data tag management, right? Move things around so that you can get a clear visual, right? I know it, it that mm -hmm. takes time, but it helps you. Keep yourself mentally organized with what's happening, right? Because it just—it looks like a big, you know, yeah, massive. It's, it's a wall of yellow text right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it gets a—it gets a little bit in your head, and then you start to get—you get behind, and so, you know, move some data tags around so it makes sense, or zoom in, or you know, do whatever you need to do. If you do zoom in. Be careful, ton of vision. You got to zoom back out, right? Yeah. Um, but so, how do you fix it, right? This is part of what we talked about earlier. How do you fix it? Th those three guys. Compass should be fine, right? Yeah. So, um, so south, south, southwest is still at six. Compass is at two. Flagships at three. So okay. I can, I can duck southwest to, out to the east and. Yep. Um, yes, you can. And then and then bring him back in, you know, toward, uh, um, you know, toward Jans from from the east if I if I need to. Okay. So the other thing is, you said. Great altitude, so you're aware of all the altitudes. What's the one thing you know? What heading they're going? What's the one thing you didn't say right there? Speed. Speed. So, what's Compass doing versus Southwest versus Flagship? South uh, Compass is at 170. Flagship's at 180. They're pretty fine. I mean, yep. You know, they're they're pretty okay. Uh, yep. Um, Southwest is faster, so he's going to need to slow and descend. Yep. So he's a he's the prime candidate to uh, he's circle the prime around. candidate exactly. So your your yeah. idea, your plan to move him east is great. You want to keep this speed up, right? Because now you've ex now you're effectively going to be extending your finals box out. If he's going 250, you can keep him at 250. Fly him east until you get separation. Slow him down. Bring him back in, or bring him back in. Slow him down, depending on what you're looking at. But if that's your plan, great. If your plan was to put Southwest first or Compass first, then Southwest and then the flagship. Got to turn flagship to create the separation, and then you yeah. can bring him back towards Jans. But you yeah, got to no, slow I, I, 941 down first. Yeah, but at Southwest, I mean, he's right now. He's just the he's highest and fastest. Yep. So he's um yeah he's gonna just swing out to the east and there you I'll, go. I'll either cut him back in you know north and west from like Paleo, uh -huh. or or if I have to, I'll, I'll swing him around to the you know right the long way around if I have to, but I don't think yeah. I have to. No, you, you probably won't, but let's see how it goes. But and, and it, but it, I want you to to just take stock and think, okay, yes, it still seems a little bit chaos and whatever, but it's really not. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of turns happening and whatever, but yeah, there is still an organization to it. You may not think it that there is, but yeah. there's still organization happening. So right. continue that. Just yeah. something, right? One of the things that a lot of times people get stuck in it and they're like, oh my God, what do I do? Just start, right? As you start, then you get some relief and you get some time and you can go figure out your other stuff, but just try something. And in the meantime, uh, right in the mess of that wall of text is a uh, departure that I never even talked to. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. 
Um, okay. So I just, I just noticed him just while we were talking. So. <laughs> well, again, that's yeah. the, you gotta, you, I was trying, man. I was trying. <laughs> you were trying to sneak out. Yeah. You were trying to call in or you were trying to sneak out without talking to me. No, I was trying to call him, but there was so many oh, other yeah. important stuff happening. I was trying to <laughs> prioritize it, and even I couldn't. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, boy. if you guys can't keep up, then there's no hope for me. So. <laughs> Why do you no, think no, it takes no. three of us now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Plus, I, all I, these I, pilots are sharing a single brain cell, remember? Yes, yes, exactly right. I, I feel like I feel like the hero of the action movie with the three ninjas surrounding him, and I'm like, <laughs> which one of you do I karate chop first? You know, <laughs> well, that's a good analogy. I think we might use that later in, in our training syllabus. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So just let's just start, right? I know it's a lot, and your brain's probably gush right now, but let's just. Let's just try. You know, let's get a couple more in, and then we kind of see where we're at and see where you, where your appetite is to continue. Uh, yeah. Well, and I, I do think, um, and and I didn't say this at the top, um, but I, I'll say this now. Let's let's go ahead and cap it at uh, at the top of the hour. Okay. Um, the, these have all been about two hour sessions so far, and I feel like that's a real good length for the viewing audience as far as you know coming back to these on YouTube later and not seeing like a five hour stream to <laughs> to try and digest. I think the two hours have been the two hours have been working out really well for me because you guys okay. are 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 doing what you had said, which was push me to the limits, and I think two hours is a is a nice good you know chunk for that. Um, but then I think again for the viewing audience coming back to them later seeing you know, two hour blocks of time to kind of go through them step by step is uh, it's a, it's a good uh, precedent to kind of, um, to continue. So let's, we'll plan for that. Okay. That works for me. We get as much as we can in the next half hour. And then I will go drink heavily. <laughs> That's the controller in you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready when you are, I suppose. All right. Okay. Compass 5712, turn right heading 360 on the rollout. Field's going to be at your 11 o'clock, 14 miles report in sight. 360 on the turn, and we got it in sight now, uh, 5712. Compass 5712, cleared visual approach runway 33 left. Cleared the visual 33 left, 5712. Flagship 4091, traffic uh, 10 o'clock, 3 miles, uh, turning northbound, a... Uh, an E-170 report in sight. Uh, we're looking for him. What altitude is he at again? Uh, sorry, he's at... Uh, he's at 2,000. Uh, we don't see him. He might be just below us there. Flagship 4091. Roger. Uh, oh. Also, field is at your 11 o'clock, 14 miles report in sight. All right, we got the field, and now we have the traffic. Sorry, 4091. Flagship 4091, cleared visual approach, runway 33 left. All right, cleared the visual, 33 left, 4091. Southwest 451, if you didn't get this already, wind, calm, runway 33 left, clear to land. 33 left, clear to land. Southwest 941, turn right heading, 090, descend and maintain 5000. 090, 5000, Southwest 941. Chesapeake, Gordonsville, or Fapple. Gordonsville. <laughs> Fapple Chesapeake. I got two flashing to you, buddy. I'm working on it. I'm sorry. Roger. Perch Southwest 44, 1 1000 uh, via. No, we're at 1 1000. Southwest 44, Potomac Approach. Baltimore Information Alpha Currents. Out to the two nine or nine or one. Nine or one, Southwest forty four. All right. Perch, Wisconsin four twenty five, one five thousand. Uh gonna cross billet at one one thousand. Last aircraft call on standby. Wisconsin 425, Potomac approach, descend via the deal three arrival, Washington landing south. Via the deal landing south. Wisconsin 425. Somebody learned. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. 
So he's got a, he's assigned down to one zero zero, right? Ending south for the deal. This whoops. Oh, it's just not my control. So I could, I forgot to update his altitude first. But anyway, um, so yeah, deal Chesapeake. Uh, deal. Wisconsin four twenty five. Uh, he's he's down to ten. I just hadn't uh, didn't update him. I'm going to hand him over to you now. Okay, sounds good. Thanks for the heads up, ZD. R O. Wisconsin 425 contacts, Potomac approach 128.35. We'll see it. 2835, 425. Good day. Compass 5712, wind, calm, runway 33 left, clear to land. 33 left, clear to land, 5712. Flagship 4091, wind, calm, runway 33 left, clear to land. 33 left, clear to land, 4091. Approach Northeast Express 225 is 10,000. Turn cactus now before you talk to him. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Last aircraft call in standby. Break. Cactus 62. Turn right heading 270 to center maintain 2000. Heading uh, down to 2000 and 250? 270. Cactus 62 heading 270. I'm I'm just as bad as I am on the scope. 270. (laughs) Cactus 62. (laughs) Okay, what else do you need to do before you go back to that guy? Um, Southwest 706, I forgot what he's even doing. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yep. How did he, I think I gave him east, well, anyway. You gave him 180 because he was going okay. to conflict on the church. Yeah, okay. Southwest 706, turn left heading, correction, turn right heading uh, 280. Clear him to Jans. Okay. Southwest 706, turn right heading 280, direct Jans when able. Direct Jans, Southwest 706. Approach Southwest 44. Uh, Southwest 44, Potomac Approach. Hello. What would you like us to do? (laughs) (laughs) Southwest 44. Turn right heading 180, descend to maintain 7,000. 180 down to 7,000, <laughs> southwest 44. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder of your existence. Get, uh, now you need to get on board 4245. Uh, in a position to follow Cactus, right? Cactus 62 fields your uh, 2 o'clock, 13 miles report in sight. Field in sight, Cactus 62. Cactus 62, <laughs> cleared visual approach on way 33 to the left. Cleared visual, 33 three left, Cactus 62. Envoy 4245, descend to maintain 3000, turn right heading 270. 270, 3000, 4245. Hey, approach northeastern uh, 225, you told us to stand by and we did, but we're back again. Uh, 10, thousand. Northwest Northeast Express 225, Potomac Approach. Baltimore Information, Alpha Current, Optimeter 2901. Maintain present heading, descend and maintain 4000. Expect a visual runway 33 right approach. All right, 33 right, 4000 present heading, Northeastern 225. Oh, approach Southwest 152, we're with you at 6000 with Alpha. Southwest 452. Maintain two one zero knots to send and maintain four thousand. I'll just to do with that for now. <laughs> two one zero four thousand southwest one fifty two. Southwest one fifty two fly heading three six zero. Three six zero one fifty two. And southwest one fifty two. If I didn't say so already, expect visual approach runway three three left. Visual three three left southwest one fifty two. Envoy forty two forty five. Traffic. One o'clock, four miles northwest bound, uh, US Air E195 report in sight. Uh, we have him in sight, but I think he's like falling out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, on way 42 Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know what happened there. That's actually really funny. That is what actually is really funny. But it tracks with a bad sim. 
We okay. have to yeah, pay exactly. Forty-two, forty-five. <laughs> I'm with forty-two, forty-five. <laughs> yeah. uh, Don't fall that aircraft. D- yeah, right, exactly. I'm with forty-two, forty-five. <laughs> uh, clear visual approach runway three-three left. Cleared visual three-three left. Forty-two, forty-five. <laughs> 200 feet across. Oh my that god, that's funny. and he was at 110 knots. And I'm like, yeah, that was my first good. clue. Something was emergency gone. equipment is on the way. Emergency, yeah, right. exactly. Potomac approach, uh, Southwest 941. 941, uh, Southwest 941, Potomac. Yeah, um, we're gonna <laughs> be approaching our minimum fuel here if you keep us on an eastbound heading. <laughs> Southwest 941, turn left, heading 270. Left turn 270, Southwest 941. Right, so that cactus, I'm pretty much ignoring at this point. Right? Yeah, yeah he's, okay. he's he's done. <laughs> he's done for the night. Done. Just drop uh, off track. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, okay. Yeah, that's a good good call. Yeah. Um. At Southwest 152, descend and maintain 3,000 fields at your 11 o'clock, 15 miles report in sight. Negative on the field, but. We have this little guy inside in front of us, Southwest 152. Southwest 152, follow that traffic, clear visual approach runway 33 left. Clear visual 33 left, Southwest 152. Southwest 706, traffic 12 o'clock, Niter Miles northbound, a uh, company 737, uh, 3,500. Uh, we're looking, but negative visual, but we were actually going to pop up and change to ILS if we can, uh, Southwest 706. Southwest 706, turn right, heading 300, descend and maintain 3000. 300, 3000, Southwest 706. Actually, four is probably fine. You could have given him the three. PTAC right there. Yeah, not true enough. Uh, five of 3000. Southwest 706, uh, reduce speed 190 knots. Four, five miles from Jans, cross Jans at or above. Ah, oh, crap! I don't have it in front of me. I'm screwing myself up. Position turn, altitude clearance. Southwest seven zero six, four miles from Jans, or actually no, I'm gonna coming up to Splat. Seven eight miles from Splat, cross Splat at or above two thousand four hundred. Until status from the localizer. Cleared ILS runway 33 left approach. All right, splat at or above 2400. Cleared ILS 33 left, southwest 706. Southwest 44, turn left, heading 140. 140, southwest 44. Envoy 4245, wind call on runway 33 left, clear to land. 33 left, clear to land, 4245. Southwest 152, wind call on runway 33 left, clear to land, number two. Three three left, clear to land number two. Southwest seven zero six, maintain one seven zero until splat. Wind calm runway three three left, clear to land. Three three left, clear to land, and maintain one seven zero what? Maintain one one seven zero knots until splat. <laughs> one, one, one seven zero knots until splat. Southwest seven zero six. <laughs> it's a good point, Dylan. It's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, uh, uh, Chesapeake, Philly. Uh, Philly, Chesapeake. Commute uh, air 1211, question mark. Uh, I never had him. <laughs> oh, yikes. Big yikes. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to send him a contact me. I never had him. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Pelmic Approach, Commute Air 1211, uh, 900,000. Yeah, How there are you? it is. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, is some bad simism right there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, hold on. F419. <laughs> yeah. Commute Air, great talking to you. Give Philly a call. Peace. <laughs> Commute Air yeah. 1211, contact Philly Approach 125.65. We'll see it. Billy approach 2565. Commute air 1211. Bye. Godspeed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Southwest 44 descent and maintain 4,000. 4,000 for Southwest the 44. Uh, why didn't that take? There we go. Uh, Northeast Express 225 descent and maintain 2,000. 
2000 Northeast Express 225. I just want to point out what you did there, right? You told him, uh, I mean, he was what, probably 12 from Swan. You told him maintain and press the heading, and that lined you up perfectly, right? Yeah, the, the, the Northeast Express? Uh-huh. Yeah, he was, he was, he's, he's going a three, three, right. So, I mean, he's yep. just already there. Yep. Well, I mean, for his yeah. visual, it's, it's a perfect yeah. lineup, right? Yeah. That's that right there is what you do to lessen your workload. Yeah. Stuff indeed. like that. Yeah. That, 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 that one was easy. He was, he was already like, I don't need to mess with you. You're, you're doing fine. Yep. Take the easy, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Take the easy ones when they come, dude. Let me tell yeah. you. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, Southwest 941, send to maintain 3,000. Yeah, let's send to maintain 3,000. And what else? Because he's, look at this. The oh, reduce speed. Yeah, reduce yeah. speed 170 knots. Yeah, good call. 4,170, Southwest 941. Uh, Southwest 941, 3,000, 3,000. Oh, I'm sorry, 3,000, Southwest 941. Northeast Express 225. Fields at your... One to two o'clock, nine miles report in sight. Yeah, we got it. Uh, Northeast Express uh, 225. Northeast Express 225. Traffic's a southwest s a CRJ, question mark, <laughs> on a uh, on a four-mile final to the left side. Uh, wind calm, runway 33, <laughs> right to the land. Uh, don't okay. judge my CRJ. 3-3 three, three right, clear to land, and just verify we're clear of the visual. Uh, yeah, that's I, I did skip a step, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> Northeast Express 225, <laughs> uh, clear for the visual approach runway 33 right. All right, clear to visual 33 right, 33 right, clear to land, and my immersion is broken with the Southwest CRJ for I Northeast Express 225. <laughs> <laughs> Departure exec jet 616, finally out of here, 2.5 climbing via. <laughs> <laughs> Ground stop. Yeah, right. Uh, he's on the what? Oh, he's on the Conley three. Okay. Um, I'm looking at I'm looking at the approach. Oh, uh, 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 the star rather. I think we're broken, broken now. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I think, uh, I, I, I'm so accustomed to looking at the star. Exec Jet six sixteen Potomac departure radar contact. I have a feeling at some point, uh, Rob's genteel nature is going to take over on the live network, <laughs> and he's going to start screaming at people like we do. <laughs> Southwest 44, turn left heading 360. Main descend to maintain 3000. 360, 3000, Southwest 44. And uh, don't know, of course I didn't forget about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. All right, so we can probably call it, but let's uh, exit at 616. Who would you hand that person off to? Uh, he's Conley, so that's. Um, he is going to. Uh, Fluky, right? Because uh, Vic uh, is right does now. does Fluky own that airspace? Hold on, he's Conley. No. <laughs> oh, okay. He's <laughs> well. Yeah, no, no. Hold on, because that was the that was the whole thing of like, is he the mall, uh, which is Tyson, or is it Fluky, which yep. is above him? But does it doesn't matter? There's a third departure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The third departure. What's the, what's that? De, what's that departure on the east side of National? Um, There's only three. You've got two already on the network. Well, the, what's the third? All right. One? Gosh, hold on a second. The most fun departure. Yeah, I'm looking. To, I, I'm going back to the SOP, which I had open at some point. Probably in the 5,000 tabs you have open. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Let's break that some page one. Tyson. Oh, it's Krant. Krant. Is Krant yeah. online? Um, no. So that's that's the one where it's like, well, who does that consolidate to? And I have no idea. <laughs> when people start screaming on the team speak. <laughs> yeah, who's Krant? Who, who got Krant? Who has yeah, Krant? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Yeah. It, it always yeah. happens to the person who's on it doesn't realize for a second. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that was me last night with right. Richmond. And then it's like yeah. nobody answers. It's like, all right, well, I guess no. Uh, the frequency change advisors. Are <laughs> <laughs> the worst case, just give them the center. <laughs> yeah, it's right. your problem, not mine. <laughs> right. And I can't. So that's one thing. that, And this is just a complication on my end. And this is one of my 
shortcomings as a student right now is that I still have not had a chance to like lay out. What I want to do is like a picture of Chesapeake with just the cheat sheet of the sectors that surround it. You know what I mean? And, and sure. you know, which frequencies they are and which, what they consolidate to. I just haven't had a chance to draw that up yet. Um, yeah. And, and I think doing that would help you. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm looking through the, for the part where they all merge. Oh, wait a minute. That's okay. That's BWI's merges. Guess there should wanna... be a way to, to turn on the different sectors in, you know, in all those, that big list in your view diagrams. Gotcha. And so yeah. you can, you can turn on Tyson and see where Tyson is and look at the, that airspace you can turn on fluky and mm -hmm. see where it actually is on your scope okay and this is okay that's richmond so i've completely like missed the page where all that consolidates that's bwi where everything merges nope is it further down this is the one that's like 147 go all the way up to the table of contents Page three. No, nope, I found it. One forty-seven. Click on it. Pop, it popped into my head from watching back one of my earlier streams. I remember you said, Jared, you said one forty-seven, and for some reason that popped right in my head just now. Um, okay, so well, that belongs to the, uh... that belongs to Krant, but okay, so Krant is the one that everything merges to, but I think we've said that's really OJ, right? Yeah, for now, OJ is the one that it all consolidates to. Yeah, so that's going to go to 1985, really. I think eventually, when we do the new SOP, it's a, uh, we're actually going to open Grant all the time. But yep. Oh, okay. I got you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so anyway, so he's going to end up going to uh, OJ on 1985. So I'm going to hand him off to 19. Oh, wait a minute. I don't even know what I've typed at this point. At least OJ kind of makes the most sense. Yeah, because that's like the... Ma 1985 is like the master Mount Vernon is like in my mind, you know what I mean? Yep. And he's the farthest east sector really that's open. Mm, gotcha. I, yeah, I still don't have a good picture, like I said, in my head of like how, how these sectors stack up with each other. So that's one thing that I just... You know, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to make excuses, guys. I just, you know, just haven't had the time. But, um, but that's one. That's that's probably my top priority for. This is something that you won't something really get I, until you move yeah. through all the rest of the uh, sectors. Yeah, true. And, and right. it's funny because it it comes together like a puzzle. Yeah, right. Once you've yeah, right. Because once I work, um, you know, Shenandoah, I'll understand how all those stack on each other better than I do. So, and so anyway, you're not so going to be you. expected to know this 100%, right? Yeah. Because That's realistically, fair. we're going to tell you who you need to hand off to for each one, like if you were for an event or whatever. During the briefing, right, exactly. Right. So, yeah. um, You know, you should be used to looking it up and figuring it out, but, yeah. you know, if you make a mistake, we're not going to be like, oh, that means he's not getting an S3. <laughs> right. You know. Right. Fair enough. You ask, ask Jared how my first time on Chesapeake went. <laughs> <laughs> did it go uh better than tonight <laughs> no no oh, no okay well all right i guess i feel a little bit better dylan was um, pretty overwhelmed <laughs> well okay then i'm i'm in that club good <laughs> <laughs> all right so exec check's gonna go to 1985 and uh I, I forget where we left off i think it, um so northeast express already has his visual approach and to land clearance um, Southwest 941, I can't remember what I, what was the last instruction I gave him. I think it was probably just the vector, right? Or did I? Uh, I think he's just on a 270. Uh, he's yeah. on a 270, 270, and, 270 and 3 is what I last gave him, yeah. And then 44, um, I know I gave him a turn just now, but I don't know. I don't know. It was like a northbound turn, I think. I believe it was 360. Yeah, that sounds about right. I think that would end up working. I mean... I don't know if we yeah. have to finish the last three, but okay, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's no, fair. If we, we have, yeah, and especially because we want to kind of yeah. go ahead and, and start wrapping up. Um, so, what are the so things? Go real ahead. Quick. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, what are the things real quick, and then uh, then the other guys can kind of. What one thing that I and I said it before is you want the data tag management, right? Yeah. One of the things that I used to do when I was first starting it is when I give the approach, I drop the the tag, meaning that I no longer quote unquote have the tag picked up at you know F three F four that kind of thing. And that, in my brain, symbolizes I've given him the approach. 
if you're working top down, I minimize the tag, uh, and that symbolizes that's, my brain. So that's, yeah, that's good, because I've been using that as, like, the okay, I've handed him off thing. Yep. But but even, like, so when you're working tower top down, you don't have to consider it handed off. You can consider it, I gave him the instruction he needs to get his exactly. wheels onto the pavement. Yeah, no, yep. that, that makes so, no sense. Clearance, drop the tag, and then minimize the tag when you gave him clearance to land. Uh, oh, okay, You're, you said drop the... Ah, uh, see... Ah, uh, oh, like the, the shining halo just appeared over my head. I understand that. <laughs> yeah. so, because yeah. I'm thinking minimize the tag with the F1, and you're saying drop as in drop the radar track, which is... Yeah. It's a, it's a good... Mind. It's right. It's a good thing that you say that, because if I've got a tower controller, I'm going to be dropping these radar tags as I'm handing them off to them anyway, right? Correct. Yep. Right. So, yeah. So, and and, and VSTAR is a little bit different because, that. you know, like it does it automatically for you, not a big deal. Even yeah. there, I still, if I'm really, really busy or my brain is not with me at that moment, um, I'll still drop the track, t t t drop the tag mm -hmm. in uh, VSTARs. And it's just a, it's yeah. a way for my brain to kind of know, okay, I've given him the clearance for the yeah. approach. We're good. Yeah. No, that makes total sense. Okay. Good. Good tip. Um, I'll, I'll, so, I'll squirrel that one away. Ones, your scan was good, but I think sometimes ex you, you got to work on expanding it out a little bit, right? Yeah. Um, look beyond just yeah. your finals box. Um, scroll out. Scroll out, exactly. Well, and uh, that look, wasn't even the issue. For... It was just that I was, um, I was so... I was spending too much time coming up with the plan, and by the time I had thought through that plan there's already like two or three more handoffs. So that's just a processing speed thing that I just need to, you know, g get a little bit more instinctive. Um, anybody Something see Top Gun Maverick? Practice. Don't think, just do. You know, anybody see the movie? Yes. <laughs> not yet. There you go. So, oh, Jared hasn't seen it yet. Okay, well, that was not okay. a major spoiler or anything. But Yeah, it sounds, yeah. Yeah. So that's one of the just like the mantras that they kind of like just just you know trust your instincts. It's almost like uh, there's a lot of Star Wars, uh, a New Hope parallels, but kind yeah. of just you know, trust your instincts and um, you know not not use the force necessarily, but just trust your instincts. Let your feelings guide you. Don't don't overthink. So that that kind of is probably a, probably a good you know mindset I can apply to this. Is just like you know don't sit there and analyze. Just you know get them the heading, get them the get them the clearance. If the heading turns out not to work out the way you wanted it, give him another one. You know, exactly. You don't have to. Well, doesn't and, and have to be perfect. I think I'm. I'm too. I, I think part of part of the exercise tonight is I'm trying to be too perfect, and that's what's slowing me down. Correct. That's a, a professor said to me um, years ago uh, when I was in uh, was in grad school. He was like, you know, Rob, you you sometimes you have to realize that getting it done perfectly is less important than getting it done. Correct, because you know yeah. if you have sixty aircraft that you have to land in Baltimore, you know that's yeah. you know there's, yeah. there's gonna be one. You're that not gets gonna have time up. to all sixty of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so you, you, know, you you can't analyze all sixty of them. Just get them in a line and figure it out later. So you can't. that's why we said you know if you have to resequence one, then yeah, you know yep. it happens. You know. Yep. yep. But yep. that's Makes sense. better than being too conservative. Right. 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 And I know that's a big. Um, measure of success for an approach controller is how how aggressive can you get at punching these guys in one after the other so i you know i do kind of have in the back of my head that that's the goal i don't want to i don't want to space these guys out 10 miles because hey that'd be great there'd be no conflicts but you know at the same time then you know new york's giving us 100 miles in trail because the approach controller can't handle it <laughs> well yeah, think about exactly. this too you know chesapeake is really the appetizer for mount vernon so we're just mm. getting you started <laughs> Oh wait a minute now. Um, we, let's yeah, let's carry that conversation offline, okay? okay there you go. <laughs> I may sit on Chesapeake for another three years. Let's put it that way. Chesapeake is fun. Chesapeake yeah. is fun. I'm, I'm I'm I am enjoying this. I don't want you guys to think I'm not. Um, but it is it is extremely mentally taxing, and it's like it's it's making me like consider like how long after I finish Chesapeake before I'm ready to mentally tackle the next pieces. So, yeah. It becomes it's, much easier. Learning uh, Chesapeake and S3 at the uh -huh. same time is right. Is a really big task. S3 itself is a really big task, um, but you add Chesapeake and the complexities on top of it, and it makes it it makes it makes tough. Um, yeah. After you've done, you kind of hit that mountain, the rest of them are hills. 
it's it's a lot whole lot easier okay. to learn. Good. That's so. a fair, that's a fair 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 point. Um, but yeah, for right now, I'm focusing. You know, I know you guys. The, it's it's become a running meme within Washington. Z, you know, ZDC is to like, hey, when's Rob going to do his more training? Uh, but uh, yeah, but for right now, I'm 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 ready to be the other side of that meme, which is I'm good with what I've got. So I'll, I'm going to get the I'm going to get the S3. I'm going to get the Chesapeake, and then we'll we'll see. That's, that's and I think answer. this is the hardest one of the hardest ones to do. And yeah. but it's really, really is an accomplishment. You'll be proud of yourself uh, when you do oh, it. Oh, I know and, that I and will. When it clicks, you'll actually yes. you'll you'll realize it. When it starts to click, you'll be like, "Oh my god!" I, and I that is another night doing. I will drink heavily after. So <laughs> after, you know, absolutely. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so all um, right, um, so more, do more deeper of debrief comments. Yeah, go points. ahead. Yeah, um, do you, one of you guys want to go first? Well, I, I just have a couple more, and then I'll shut up. Okay. Um, uh, you gave a bunch of turns, a bunch of headings. You didn't tell the pilots why. Now, is that the end of the world? Uh, no. Right. But if it's so far out, like one of them, you told him maintain present heading. Maintain present heading for what? I think it was uh, Northeast Cargo. Uh, yeah. You know, that guy, he's further out, further along the line. You know, you present have to heading tell him vectors for, yeah, vectors for the approach, yeah. basically. Yeah, or vectors for panic. <laughs> you know, if that's what you want to be honest. <laughs> uh, the, other, the only other thing is, and you did it at the end, and this is something that you're going to have to kind of go into your flow as a traffic call, right? So you, yeah. you did you did them, you started doing them at the end, and that's great, but you have to be, remain consistent with them across the entire session. Yeah, I, I, I and that's kind like of craft. You need to say it a bunch of times so you can do it without yeah, thinking about right, it. Right, exactly. And, and so every time the traffic call came up, I'm like, okay, wait a minute. It's uh, direction, distance, um, di I'm sorry, no, it's, yeah, it's bearing distance direction aircraft type uh altitude um and then every time i had to give a traffic call i had to kind of like oh crap what is it again you know what i mean so that's just going to be a practice thing i gotta what i gotta do is like as i'm driving down the road i just gotta practice giving myself traffic calls to the other cars until i'm comfortable <laughs> saying it over and over again that's great yeah. That's great. To, yep. to the person. Now, that's what I did. That's what I did like... when I learned the phonetic alphabet back in, back in the day. I was like, every sign I saw, I was just like, um, you know, if the sign said, uh, you know, ninety five east, I'm like, okay, Echo Alpha Sierra Tango, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so just just every well, word I see, it? yeah, just 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 say the letters until you get comfortable with it. So that's a big um, big job that a lot of, of radar that a lot of people discount. Yeah, is traffic advisories. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. That's all I got, Jared. A um, couple of my things. Um, so, kind of towards the end there, uh, when we started telling you, you know, do these things first, and I said ignore that guy that was calling in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you don't have to even say stand by if you're busy and you have other things that are higher up on your priority. Yeah then get those things done first. You know, they, right. those pilots will wait. Right. Yeah. Um, and so that's what I was trying to get you to just kind of get you to think about right there was if you're trying to keep a, you know, a tight finals box, which is going to make you in the end run more efficient, then, you know, you need to make those turns when you need to make them. And you also need to have those airplanes. Yeah. In and that's like to, to do that. Right. And that's, Go ahead. Uh, a, a, a corollary to that, Jared, is sometimes take the hand, take the radar handoff, and just deal with them when they call. Like I've, I've, right. I've been kind of training myself not to take the radar handoff until I'm ready to talk to them. But there is that gap, right? There's uh, you take the radar handoff. There's still a few moments where the sending controller then has to go to the pilot. You know, come back and give them a new frequency. Well, what if they've got their own, you know, sequencing mess that they're dealing with? They may not give that pilot that frequency right away. So I've got to take the radar handoff and then just go back to what I was doing until they call in and not like yeah. sit there and wait. You know what I mean? And when they so call that's... in, you know, that's low error priority, right? But, right. you know, get what you need to get. If you have something that needs to get done right now, get that yeah. done. And then you can call them right back. Hey, Northeast Express to send a main, Potomac Approach to send a maintain six thousand yeah. expect three three right, and yeah. just uh, and just go from there. You know what I mean? So it's it's just I've got to force myself when I accept that tag. I so the one thing that's better than the, when I started this process was accepting the handoff and then not looking at their block to see what they're doing. Now at least I'm doing that. 
but now I'm so focused on what they're doing that I'm just like, I'm waiting to get that first instruction out because it's fresh in my mind. So I've just got to get out of that mindset. Look at what they're doing. Okay, accept the tag, go on to what you were doing. When they call in, you know, that should still be kind of hanging up there somewhere that, oh, that's got, oh, that guy's on the skills. So, you know what I mean? Instead of, you know, just kind of staring at him. And that's, it's, it's just like the uh, fixation is the word I was yep. looking for. When I accept the radar handoff, I'm fixated on, okay, what is he doing? And now I need to give him that instruction. Whereas, you know, I need to break up this into several steps and not expect those three things to happen back to back. So, And a big problem for me when I was doing radar was I would give someone a PTAC and then I would sit there and watch them to like make sure they turned and they were going to intercept. Right. And I right. would forget about everybody else. Yeah, you know what I mean? right. And there's, and, there's, um, and there's a... You know, because that's the next step before you either give him the landing clearance or hand him off the tower. I could easily see me, my, you know, myself falling into that same trap. But yeah, it's just like, okay, yep. give him the, you know, give him the PTAC and then go on to something else. And then, like John said, you, you manipulate the tag as the reminder of what you have and haven't done. And that's, yep. you know, that's, that is a super crucial tip that I, you know, will definitely pick up for next time. Or get in a routine so that yeah. you only really have to remember if it's something that's non standard. Um, right. But yeah. when you feel yourself going into one of those, I've been looking at this airplane tag move too many times. Yeah. Just look at something Start else. Training yourself. <laughs> yeah. Zoom out. Yes, that's a look at something else. Look at anything else. Zoom yes. out. Yep. Yes. Keep your eyes moving. You have to, yes. that's a hard thing for you to train is, yep. is to continuously be looking yep. at your borders and everything else. Yeah. Those I also are you. think to myself a lot when I'm getting handoffs, mm -hmm. I try to get, make sure before I accept the handoffs that I have handed off everybody I possibly can. Ah. Uh, yeah, good call. Right, um, and that's, that's just good... my kind of one of my reminders to hey, let me scan right. and see if I can hand off yeah. anybody else. Yeah, yep, good one. Um, I had one other one, and I have a screenshot. Oh God! All right. <laughs> so, um, also something that you know probably comes with as you start to learn other airspace. Mm -hmm. But do you see where Southwest Forty Four is at seven thousand? Yep. Do you own 7,000 there? <laughs> um, <laughs> the way you're asking that, I'm guessing the answer is no. It's a leading question. Huh? Yeah, yeah, well, I can see you've brought up another um, you brought up another diagram, which is probably the higher sector. Uh, yeah, well, I don't know if that might just be on my um, sector file, but yeah, okay. there's a shelf there where um, Mount Vernon actually owns. So uh, that okay. airspace, and you only own, I think, below six. six. Okay, yep. gotcha. Um, so, so the thing to do is a get him down to six there, um, or b do the point out with uh, Mount Vernon. Yeah, so you did that with him, and you did that with the flagship guy, right? Who kind of flew down through okay. there. Yeah, and um, yeah, both both times that's kind of why I was like cringing when when you said you were going to do that because um, there's a lot of other traffic that kind of uses that corridor, and there's so there's kind of a reason that we don't. We okay. don't usually send them on that side, and it's not gotcha. something you would know. But um, yeah, uh, just for future reference, like it's okay, but and it's legal. And I told you to do whatever's legal. Point out to Mount Vernon would have made it 100 percent legal. Yeah, and, understood. Um, so, I, and I think yeah. my mindset got to be. I, I'm sorry, I keep interrupting you, but I just I don't want to lose the points here because what I kind of got in the mindset of again, which was the dangerous um, mindset, was. Okay, he's direct Baltimore. Just let him keep going direct Baltimore, and I'll just figure him out later. You know what I mean? Or to, in, in, at least in the, the the case of the flagship, uh, he's going direct Baltimore. He's fine. He's at eleven thousand. He's not going to bother anybody. I'll deal with him later. And that's kind of the, that was the approach I took. And then he crossed over Baltimore, and then I'm like, oh god, now I have to deal with him. <laughs> and, and sometimes if you wait, that means that you can forget about them, and then it's too late. Yeah, um, so and that's exactly what happened, and and that was still part of when you guys were, you know, continually flashing me new traffic, and I was just like, all right, workload management. Who can I not deal with right now? And that was kind of what I did, and then well, by the time I circled back I was, to them, it was too late. Yeah, and, and that's why I was what, trying to point you towards put him on like a one twenty heading, put yeah. him out there towards Swan. Yeah, because right. at least he's still in your airspace and he's yep. not around anybody. And yeah, and when they're not around anybody and they're not where they're supposed to be, that's kind of my also my. Yeah, I, my brain I did. goes. I had this, What's the matter I did with this you? This whole you know? swath of of, uh, of airspace over the bay that I never really utilized. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. Sorry, John. I understood. Well, no, and I was going to say, in addition to what Jared said, to give you another path is mm -hmm. you can say depart Baltimore VOR heading one eight zero, right? So it's 
you know he's going to go to Baltimore and he's going to go straight south. Yeah. So you have, you have to go back to him, obviously. But, you know, if you're not going to put him out over the bay, which is probably preferred and easier for you on your workload, mm -hmm. if you can't for whatever it's reason. more scenic for do, them, too. And definitely more scenic for them. <laughs> you know, I mean, nothing against uh, Baltimore as a city. It's just, you know, the bay, the bay is pretty as hell. Yeah, right. Yeah, you can um, either fly over Columbia or you can fly over the bay. <laughs> oh, don't break. Oh, Columbia, my God. But the, it's just you, know, you have options, right? So don't, if you're not going to do the bay, then you can give them a conditional, right? So at Baltimore, yeah. fly the setting. Well, you know, another the other thing is. Worked, another time that would have worked well is for the Westminster that guy that can't, hadn't had to call yeah. you. Yeah, you know, exactly. When you get him at 11,000, hey, depart Westminster heading 120, decide to maintain yep. 7,000. Right. Uh, yep. Then he's pointed kind of away from everybody else. He's below everybody else, and you can kind of work him in from there. The other thing is um, the other thing is, uh, no, there's no houses in the bay that's a complaint about the noise. So. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. On the RNF. Those, those, virtual, <laughs> those, those virtual homeowners, man. Yep. All okay, right. Those are my two points. And, and then, uh, Dylan, did you have... Well, I did until Jared started talking. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, that's good though. No, you but you you're saying that you know, you were kind of thinking along those same lines. Yep. The biggest thing that I was going to drive home was exactly what Jared said about, you know, when people check in, if you're busy with other stuff, you don't even have to acknowledge them right away. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go back, do something else. Even if you don't forget, even if you forget who it was, a simple, "Hey, who checked in last?" at maybe, yeah. you know, whatever yeah. if you remember anything right. about their check-in yes you right that. and that is a technique that i use on tower but it, the, the the tower stuff is so second nature oh, to me yeah, at this point sure. that i'm not like caught up in like the consciously thinking about the puzzle and then i can you know easily go back to uh you know, all right who's checking in the visual you know what i mean you know it's it's, it's just it, that that much is like you know that's that is where i am at the you know don't think just do stage no, so I, I, I know i'll get there with this it's just a just a, just a much bigger uh well and a, a, another thing you can do and i hate i hate it a lot because it does chime every couple whatever the the frequency is but you can always right click and set reminder i forget oh. what the key keyboard command is yeah just so like aircraft select and then select them again okay there you go yep. so yeah you know, that <laughs> it is rudimentary but it is just yeah. literally like hey do something with me yep and it's it's so funny that like I, I've that is that is the tool that you use when they're requesting clearance, you know, and it's yeah. like it doesn't even occur to me that that has other uses. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> you, know, you know. So it's really, you know, it's good. These are really good tips, guys. I, I truly appreciate it. Was that more traffic than you expected? Um, no, it was approximately the amount of traffic I expected. Now, <laughs> ask me whether whether it was the amount of traffic I was ready for. Hails no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I was I was expected to be you know pushed to the limits, and I I did. And there was a moment where I felt like I was holding my own, and then I think what I then next realized was there were four purple flashing aircraft that you guys must have deleted. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so and then I was like, oh, well, no wonder I'm holding my own all of a sudden. Um, no, you held your own. This this was more of the traffic than you had seen in any of the other sessions before. Was so, it really? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. You held your you held your own. Yeah. Okay. And when I, I was I, deleting, it was because I was I knew we were trying to wrap up here. Ah, so, okay, fair enough. Fair and then enough. you also that, deleted that, that one been what I noticed. that called you out over the bay. So he, and that one just oh. you know, he can he can f off. Go away. Uh, yeah, I unable him. Yeah, I but if Philly unable on out of here. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> got to do what you got to do sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I was not able to even keep up with my IFR workload. So at that point, you know, I love that. I don't know if you guys. I know we're taking this this debrief a little bit longer than I wanted it uh, to be, just for for the stream length. But I think we're fine at at quarter, you know, two and a quarter. But um, there's a a wonderful clip. On it's not Vass Aviation, but it's one of the other you know live ATC recording YouTube channels where it's a helicopter that's trying to land at Newark and he re gets refused entry into the Bravo, and uh, and the helicopter pilot's like all insisting, it's like, are you telling me I can't land at Newark? And the approach controller's like, yeah, that's exactly what I'm telling you. He's like, oh, well, mark the tape. And the approach controller goes, knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Uh, I might steal yeah. that for the next time I'm going to have control. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. So, all right. Uh, well, I think that's 
uh, as much as a debrief as we can do. I, I, like I said, I do want to go ahead and just get the stream wrapped up. Uh, I welcome each of the three of you in our, our Discord group chat. If you have additional thoughts, um, please don't hesitate to uh, you know to, to hit me in the Discord with them, and I'll, I'll look over them tomorrow. And again, I will do the same thing that I have done, which is I will probably watch this one back two or three times to, you know, again with a fresh set of eyes and and the ability to watch planes that I wasn't watching tonight. And then, you know, I can kind of see the mistakes coming. You know what I mean? True. So uh, that's that's been a really good training tool to be able to watch these back. And so, uh, again, I, I, I'll i say for the benefit of the, of the stream audience, I, I can't thank you guys enough for agreeing to let us stream this. And I know that um, you know, it's, there's been so many more pros and not too many cons. And I know that, I know that there's pieces of the uh, uh, of the of the. Um, pieces of the training that we won't be streaming later, which I completely understand, but I think that the ability to really put this out there and give people a taste of what, you know, the radar control training is like has been so well received. I've gotten so many positive comments from people who are considering joining VATSIM and learning ATC. I've gotten positive comments from other controllers that are at my kind of same level. I've gotten a lot of great feedback from other controllers that are S3 and higher that have been watching. And uh, so I just, yeah, can't thank you guys enough. I think this is a great thing for the VATSIM community that we're doing. Um, so uh, so appreciate uh Appreciate all you guys have done to uh, to support not only the not only me as a controller, but um, but really to uh, embrace the uh, the live streaming component of this. So thank you guys. Well, and I want to speak for Jared and Dylan, but I think you know from my perspective, when you first came to us with this, I think doing this was is is good for you, obviously, to kind of progress mm -hmm. you on. Yeah. But it's also good for people to see it, you know, and, and yeah. to see no, that it's no, not without a doubt. Yeah, it's not as easy as everyone thinks it is. It's not like a pilot you yeah. can get into a 172 and just take off, right? You know, it, it's right. there's a lot more work that goes into to what yeah. we do in this hobby. Indeed. Indeed, no, it's been valuable from so many different uh, so, so many different aspects. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, and drop you guys out of the stream and uh, with my with my sincerest thanks for everything. And of course, we'll follow up uh, tomorrow with you know some additional comments and and thoughts. But uh, but thank you guys for. Uh, for for the hard work that you did tonight and the hard work that you made me do tonight and I do think that once I take, catch my breath and have a shot or two I think I will realize you know that I did you know progress pretty well from the end of the last session to the end of this session so I definitely still have a lot of things to uh, to work on still some 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 weaknesses to address but uh, but this this session was as good for pointing those out as it was for kind of getting me uh, some confidence in the things that I am doing. Um, so far, so good. All right. Well, yeah, that's going to, yeah, that, I'm sorry. That, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. That'll do it. And I appreciate it again. It's uh, Jared West, the air traffic manager, Jay Bartlett, the deputy air traffic manager, and Dylan Lundberg, the training administrator of the Washington Air TCC on VATSIM. And uh, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much for everything tonight. All right. This is uh, the point where I try and catch up with the chat messages. And I pretty much say, well, the chat messages, um, are pretty much like I was uh, with the uh, aircraft coming in with those check-ins. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to catch up with any of those, so unable. Um, <laughs> but uh, but thank you all that were in the chat and uh, uh, appreciate the kind comments. And I know a lot of you guys had questions. I know I wasn't able to get to uh, those of you who were asking questions about what you saw on stream. But here's the best advice I can give you: join that Discord server that's on the the links, uh, the invite links on the lower right hand side of your screen. Go ahead and give that a join. And any questions that you had tonight um, that I obviously I wasn't able to interact with the chat at all, please um, go ahead and hit me up with them on the Discord server. I do, when I'm not streaming, I, I check in on that every couple of hours. So that is a great way to reach out, ask questions, or even if you were just wanted to, to say hi and and, uh, and, uh, and introduce yourself and, and become part of the Slant Alpha Adventures community. This is mostly a general aviation flying stream. We stream for you Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday nights, 7 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time is the normal show schedule, and that is what we will be back to on Friday. On Friday, we now, and, and again, we were, we're, we're mostly a general aviation flying stream. We focus on this radio-based navigation. That's what Slant Alpha stands for. However, Friday, we're taking another break from that, and we're going to fire up that working title mod of the Citation CJ4. So we're going to do some slantly flying on the Slant Alpha channel. And uh, 
probably just hit up some. Uh, we're just going to find the find a busy spot in that USA somewhere and fly that biz jet on a couple of slant lima hops. So that'll be Friday at 7 p.m. And uh, by the way, if you want to know what these codes mean, slant alpha, slant lima, slant whiskey, all the stuff that we occasionally mention on the channel. Uh, what you want to do is hit up that YouTube channel that's on the lower left-hand side of your screen. We've got a VATSIM playlist, a VATSIM tutorials playlist that you can check out. And one of the tutorials, one of the shortest tutorials we have, is the one that explains those slant codes. But we also have tutorials on there that talk about what to say to air traffic controllers. If you're considering getting on the VATSIM network for the first time and you, you don't even really know what to say to controllers, there's a tutorial that can kind of get you pointed in the right direction. Uh, there's uh, tutorials on reading VFR sectionals or putting together a VFR route plan or an IFR route and uh, some uh, ideas on how to calculate your flight time and fuel estimates if you prefer to come up with your own numbers like I do rather than use something like a, a sim brief or an other online flight planning tool. Last but not least is our Twitter channel. We're Slant Alpha on Twitter. You can uh, give us a follow there. We do try to keep you abreast of when there are last minute changes to the show schedule. But uh, also, we try to keep you informed about any major breaking news in the VATSIM or flight simulation communities, so you can follow us over there. We also post those announcements over on our Discord server, where we also have our full show schedule published. So if you want to know what else we're going to be doing after Friday, please feel free to check out that Discord uh, show schedule published over there. And again, it's underneath the About tab here on Twitch as well, if you want to check it out that way. Okay, that, I think, is finally going to do it. Uh, we appreciate your patience as we kind of wrapped up. Uh, I know I owe a couple of you some of those raffle tickets. I'm not going to go into the whole raffle thing tonight just because I, I want to go ahead and get us out of here uh, for the evening. But uh, uh, we will go ahead and send the love over to one of our favorite friends, Flight Sim Stream friends. And I'm looking at a couple here. Let's see, that one's been on for over four hours. Looks like he might be wrapping up. This one just got on. Okay, let's send when we when we're just give him gave him a shout out the uh, not too long ago, but let's go ahead and grab him another one. He's he's he just got on, he's doing some general aviation flying on the network. It looks like he's heading out toward Devil's Tower. So we will send the love over to our friend Flux Trot. And uh you guys can uh, check him out if you want to see some GA flying on the network in Flight Sim 2020, uh, which is a lot of what we do here on the channel. We'll go ahead and send you over to him. Enjoy his content. In the meantime, tell him Slant Alpha sends his love. And we will see you back here on Friday from the cockpit of that CJ4. So until then, guys, have a great rest of your week. And uh, be healthy and safe in your own travels and your own adventures. In the meantime, we'll talk to you then.